What's good, everybody? This is Ray Daniels, a.k.a. The Culture Referee, and I'm here to talk to you about Two Lost Distribution. They are one of the most technologically advanced distributors in music. They distribute to more stores than any distributors around. They distribute, uh, they give you 100% of your royalties. They only charge you $3 a month, and you have an instant option to get an advance from these guys. So if you're watching this and you want to be in the music business and you're trying to figure out how to get help, I'm here to tell you, go to twolost.com and use the word God's as your coupon code and you get the first three months free what's good is the kid from queens jack dance and this is ray dangs aka the culture referee and this is the god show let's go and today we have a a special guest i want to say that i've seen this young lady go from she's always been a star and i would just say thank god for podcasting for people like us yes because you've always had a huge personality uh you've always been a shit talker (laughs) and to see you having a platform and you blowing up with it it's really a great thing for me to watch because in high school and in school, the one thing they tell every kid to do is stop talking. They stop do. talking. And we get paid to talk. So the teachers was wrong. We can actually say that's a fact. They was wrong, right? Very wrong. Let's give it for Mandy. Let's go, guys. <laughs> um, um, this is a young lady who uh, is killing the podcast game. Um, but I want to get with you because <laughs> you're a shit talker like me. Now, how many I, times are you gonna say that? Now? Hit me out. <laughs> I'm gonna say something. I personally believe that the world is is in a is is uneven right now because a woman can do things that a man can't do, and a man does anything. Women control it because they're talking loud. So I wanted to talk to you because I was just like, what? how do? Okay, let me tell you what I mean by that, right? Please. So like, so like. A girl could go on, like a girl can go on and speak about, like, okay, let's 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 just tell the truth. Go ahead and call, say the names. A, a lot of examples. women, a lot of women, Karuchi, right? Who the fuck is she? She had a regular job, but she's famous now. Why? Because right. she messed with Chris Brown. Mm-hmm. There became an interest, and it was around two thousand seven eight, and they were, and Chris Brown was pushing Seven Streeter, pushing her. Right. But the world was paying attention to Karuchi. That's when I knew we was. In a different world, because now the interest is now in more who the artist is sleeping with than it is their artists. Their artists, like business, more right. people know money bag your girl than they know money bag your artist. And to uh, me, I like money bag. And, to, and to me, my thing yeah. is, is, by the way, I'm not complaining. I'm just speaking what I hope that people ex- ex- accept is a fact. But I feel like um, it's not the same for guys. And by the way, it shouldn't be. What do you mean it's not the same like, for guys? Like, like. Like because let's Stedman, be very clear. Stedman what? is the first one. No, no, and no, no, no one no. gives a fuck about Stedman. No, you're you're using that wrong. Let's be Go very ahead. clear. If we're gonna say same time, right? Uh huh. We have men that we know are putting Lori Harvey on a contract to stay relevant. We know that Damson Idris just re-signed for a year because Snowfall ended and he needs to stay relevant. So Damson Idris is now walking around with Lori Harvey so that people stay talking about him. Well, let's be mm. very clear. Let's, let's back it up. Go. Wait, let's back let's it up a little go. bit more. Let's not talk about how many men dated Amber, dated Drea, dated Black China. Those were the three in rotation around 2000, I would say 9 to 14. Yeah, that, they started it. So we, and then hold on, then you got the Lyras and the Miracles and the Crystal. Every, every bitch that had a photo shoot with Facet was dating the men yep. that. You know, and so everyone is like, oh, my God, why do they keep dating the same men? We're having the conversation now. Joy got Bow Wow, Future, and now Stefan Diggs as a baby daddy. So where you're talking about that now the women are on this pedestal or platform, they can do things. No, no, not pedestal platform. They they, they follow different rules because you're right. What do you mean? What's the rule? You just said, you just said, Damshin Idris needs to be relevant, right? Let's Mm. stay there, right? Has Denzel Washington ever needed to be relevant? That is not a man thing to do. Men, when you are great, Michael Jordan does not have to ever play basketball again to be relevant. Right. That is a female trait. The same way females lo- are like, hit me out. The same way females are say, well, you're with, uh, we didn't know who, st- I literally had a woman tell me, I didn't know who Russell was until Sierra. So he's Sierra boyfriend. I'm like, the nigga was a Super Bowl winning champion, my nigga. Right. You just didn't know. Mm-hmm. How is it now? Because you know it becomes relevant when it was, men don't care about relevance. You so just, you're right. You just, you just brought up, you just brought up Denzel and Michael Jordan. Um, the I would say, the, girl, did you give me a Venti? Oh, okay, that's your Venti. Um, the, the, <laughs> you don't like Ventis? 
I don't know anyone who drinks a venti. Uh, sorry, now I'm about to talk shit about you. Where does it go? How much do you have to shit? That is a big ass coffee. I drink the big venti. Si- the venti size is like. What giant is drinking this? <laughs> really? But that's kid size. It's crazy. And this is if you went to enough. McDonald's right now, you got a. If you got, went to McDonald's right now, you got a Happy Meal. <laughs> that's the cup that comes with a Happy Meal. This that's the cup that comes with a tall, dose. Grande when I'm feeling spicy, but baby, <laughs> tall is all you need. You said big um, shit popping. <laughs> you feel me? Um, so to me though, you brought up Denzel. You brought up Michael Jordan. You're completely not uh, acknowledging the fact that social media was not prevalent during those eras. We are now in a day and age where you can't compare the people of today with the Michael Jordans or the Denzels because we now, no one is even um, hard to get, hard to reach. Let's be clear. This is why we just saw Cam Newton get in a fight because now niggas is trying you. People are going to concerts to throw shit at artists when they just pay $400 to be there. Make it make sense. Okay, so, so I'm gonna make so, it make so, sense. So artists where we knew that people were crying over Michael Jordan, and uh, not Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson, those reactions are not anymore because you can slide in a DM and let a celebrity know exactly what you think about them, and you know they're gonna see it because we hate y'all. I'm glad you said I that. See it. But I'm glad you said, let's stay there. You, you said that they came up in a time. My point is this is that we all knew who Juanita Jordan was. If you was knew you knew his wife was, right. it was just we didn't have the interest or the access. One, no, not the access. It wasn't the access because let's be clear: if Juanita wanted to go sit on Oprah's couch, she could have. She did. She just did with her husband. But my thing is, I'm saying is that in today's new world, in today's new world, because of data and likes is mattering up, we know now there's more interest in the girlfriend than there is the artist. Because we can say, how come the girlfriend has 2 million followers and the artist has 400,000 followers? Some, there, there, there's an imbalance there. So I'm not saying you're wrong, but I am saying that once women became prevalent and having a voice in the world, the wives became prevalent also. And once the women and the wives became prevalent, talent became secondary. Because now I don't care about your talent. I care about your life. Now, mind you, I'm not here to argue if none of this is right or wrong. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to win regardless. I'm period. That's how I think. But what, but what I do say is, is when I'm paying attention, I'm like, like, for example, I had a co-host that was on the show. She went out and basically talked about how she left the show and lied. <laughs> And then everybody, was, and then when I came out and told the truth, they was like, why is he talking man shit? And I'm like, bro, she lied. She, I fired her and she went and told the world that she quit because it was time for the move on the bigger shit. That's a lie. So when I speak, it's like, oh, look at him. He's a man. He's not like you can. I'm like, bro, I love women. I support women. But no, 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 no. when does a no, lie no, 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 and the no, no, truth no. come over no, no. that? First I'm asking. Off, first off, people live in their own lives. They don't live in the reality that's. So there are two truths. It's your truth. They truth and the actual truth. Nine times out of ten, neither of y'all's is really what happened because, of course, the way we perceive things. I'm what as well. Well, and, and yeah. I'm as well. And, and let's be very clear too. When anything goes south, a relationship specifically, let's talk about a marriage, right? For sure. It's always what you do wrong. Someone has to be the villain when something doesn't work out. And so, whether she sat there and said that she left or not and you chose to respond and share your receipts and your truth and what you believe to be the truth. No, it was a fact. No, and that's fine. Oh, baby, oh, I got receipts, and I'm the villain in every story. Yeah, but here's the thing. Wait, what, so, what sign are you? We're not finna do this. Oh. <laughs> we're <laughs> we're yeah. not gonna yeah. do this. Yeah. We, I, we, I, okay. no, 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 no. I was hold driving on, over on, here on. listening to you, and I was like, heard you. She's like really like an alpha female personality. So, so I'm just so like, what sign on, is she? I was just curious. So, so <laughs> then here we go. Just so that there is video evidence that this is bullshit. What sign am I based on you asking me what my no, sign is? No, 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 no. I don't. So I'm not the guy that assumes. That's not what it no. is. I ask questions to understand. Okay. So the only reason why I ask about signs now is because it's like if you said Sagittarius, I don't know nothing about Sagittarius. It's not like I'm like, oh, right. let me break that down. I'm not that guy. Right. I'm only asking because to me, what I think that we don't do, we don't take enough time to figure out who we are and why we are. Because if you can figure out who you are and why you are, you can be much more successful because then you can identify what makes you super and what makes you not. What's good, everybody? This is Ray Daniels, a.k.a. The Culture Referee. And if you were wondering who this beautiful woman sitting next to me is, is my sister Tiffany Daniels-Sai. Let's give it up for my sister. Everybody can clap. This is good. 
<laughs> and my sister is, she's the most talented person in the family. And we started a family business, a signature scent company. So if you like smoke a lot of weed in your car and you want to get the scent out, you have to check out these scents. I know guys that use it for the weed. I know people that use it for cologne and everywhere they go to get compliments. We make candles. We make room sprays we got them in kits so if you want to buy something for your loved one or anybody you know that you care about hit us up lorraineco.com and we're gonna put the website at the bottom of it uh but support this black business support this black woman and order i promise you guys and matter of fact use the word gods and we'll give you 15 percent off i just made that up so if my sister <laughs> face looks crazy don't get mad at her i'll eat that but Guys, when I tell you this shit is incredible, you really should check this out. The best sense ever. LaRayCo.com. And we'll put it at the bottom of the screen. Thank you. Thanks. I guarantee you, though, who someone is, is not dependent on when they got out of their mama coochie, what location it was, <laughs> what time of day it was, and whether it landed on the 31st or the 1st. I Like... It's it's bullshit to me. I okay. think that it's an excuse for people to like like the accountability and how shitty of a person no, 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 they no, are. No, 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 no. That's 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 definitely not. That's no? not how oh, I think. Oh, I you like the stars, like, the me, moons. I I I am. My greatness has come from paying attention. Mm. I'm self taught. No one sat me in this seat and said, "Ray, you can do it." Before we got in the camera, you see me going in because yep. I'm being told Indeed. I need to be another person, and I'm like, "Okay, no problem. I do whatever it takes for us to win." But everybody gonna do it. Right. You're not going to tell me to run the gym and then he don't have to run the gym. No, we're going to all run the fucking gym or we're not going to tell me to run just the gym. Just so y'all know, Ray just said that if you steal something, he's snitching because if he get in trouble, so will you. I and will. That, oh, oh shit. I love him. He's admitted that I, on camera. Oh, no, 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 I'm not going to lie. And this is why I love him. That. So me too. Don't do nothing bad around me. You're not ruining my life. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm telling I, I'm going somewhere. Oh, baby, I am snitching. Okay, so... And, and guess what? Oh, and then shit. if you and then if you get locked up, don't think you're finna get a letter from me or time visit. I'm moving on. No commissary, nothing. My hard earned money for you? No, you better Ooh. ask. You better get one of them CEOs not, to not, like not hold you hard, down. Not, not my hard earned money for you. My hard earned money spent on your actions. On oh, your bullshit. That's out of here. And to me, I try not to talk about people. Oh, you, do, you you try not to? Yeah, I do. We I, just I did the first ten minutes about people. Who? Who was I talking about? <laughs> who was I talking about? I want to know. <laughs> Tell me. Who was I talking about? Just these people. No, no. I t if I want to talk about my movie and you're a character in my movie, that's my right. Okay. Like, I don't want to make no... And by the way, I don't want to make anyone a bad character in my movie. I don't... I, it doesn't feel manly to me and I don't get incentives from making you the bad guy. I don't need that. Right. Like, I know the facts. But there is a narrative and that narrative can control how we make our money. I, I get that. I love that you said, like, there's a narrative that's created. And, I, like, even even you in saying you became the villain and people said you shouldn't have said something. It's weird because as human beings, we want to defend ourselves. We want to defend our characters. We want to defend who we know ourselves to be, even though once we get behind these cameras and on these microphones, people now have these assumptions of I who agree. we are. Because once you are someone who is loud opinionated especially yep. as a woman um they immediately just is like oh yeah now bitch shut up but it's also just because they're like damn i'm not a person who can live in my truth i'm lying with who i'm sleeping with how much i actually like my job i hate that this person can be exactly who they want to be and get paid to do it yeah. and there's there's people don't understand that when they go into those comments and they start hating on like the Cardi B's and, and all these women that are like successful and beautiful. Like go with, if anybody called Cardi and Meg ugly, just click it, look at their avatar, bro. I it's agree. crazy. I agree. But it's just the projection of their own insecurities. I agree. So again, maybe someone or however many people felt like you were the villain and just defending no, yourself. I, I don't care. They don't. <laughs> so here's the thing. I say, I don't care. I say, fuck these pussy assholes all the time. It gets to me. No, no, the, it, does, it doesn't. Let me tell you why it doesn't get to me. Eventually it does because you respond to it. I am a self motherfucking made man. Same. And I got this. Well, I, I became I became who I became because people told me shit. And when I went against them, I won. Mm. I don't give a fuck about the whole world could be out there protesting. I'm a bad guy. I don't feel a need to prove that I'm not. But Sorry. my only thing is, is that in my business, though, like like 
There are women right now that probably would tell the story that Ray did them dirty in relationships. And by the way, I'm mm. cool with that because, bitch, when I found out what you was really here for, of course I did you dirty. <laughs> like, bitch, when I figure out what you're here for, of course I'm going to play you now. Because now, you like, I don't have, do you know that some of the shit chicks say to niggas? I had a chick tell me, babe, I want to give you some game. The cash app sound make my pussy wet. What you think will happen Whoa. to you? She did not say that. On God. Seriously. Dog, women are bold as fuck now. And especially if they know you got money, they get bolder. And I'm cool with that. I don't have a problem with that. Okay, so then can I ask the ask men in your questions? Yeah, because if a bitch is coming at you like that, nine times out of ten, because been that bitch, maybe not the cash app sound, because back in the day, it was Western Union for me. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, oh okay. Uh, <laughs> but to me, if I'm coming at a man specifically just like that, Nine times out of ten, it's his fault. You have not made me feel valued, and you are only approaching me because you want what's in between my legs or t whatever benefit to you. You are coming at me as a as a product, as a as something to be purchased, whether you're l putting a, a number on me or not. You are not valuing me. You're not asking me about what I do for a living. My mama, my sis, my kid. I ain't got no kids, but kids. Yeah. So if you're coming and you just yeah, baby, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's be very clear too. Niggas with money be flashy. So don't sit here and show all your money and then when I ask for it, you want to be mad. So, I, I, By the way, so, I agree with that. So there's a way that you... That, but what if that, I told that, you that that wasn't my story? Um, See, that's I, my but, thing. No, no, no. Ask me my story and I can tell you because yeah. you, you, then you go down to, this is what women do. I met you. you I don't do that. I don't do it, that. It, it, well, I'm saying for anyone listening. I'm talking, but, about, I'm talking strictly about me and what I'm asking you because let me tell you what I know about women. Y'all, y'all you know? a deal. Y'all a deal with the same. With y'all be, you'll be the same woman and deal with two different niggas and get because of who they are have two totally different expectations. So like, if you got a broke Explain. nigga, it's cool if he broke because he may be the nigga fixing shit or he might be the nigga pulling up. Ain't no chick asked me in twenty fucking years to pull up and fix a tire. <laughs> I'm not doing it. So, I'm, but but then that's where you're just acknowledging that in relationships, as if you have a team. Not everyone Somebody works for me will do it. Uh, right. So not everyone here is fit to do everything. So if I'm with a broke nigga, no, I'm not going to expect him to pay my bills. But then that broke person who has more availability because he's not on tour or traveling, I'm going to expect more quality time. I'm going to expect more emotional intimacy. A man with money, unfortunately, black men specifically, have been programmed to protect and provide. Yes. And you believe that once you get money, you now don't have to give me the forehead kisses or show up for me in a way that that puts my emotions first. Or you, you're just like, oh, babe, let me just buy you a bag. You'll be fine. Yeah, I cheated on you, but let's go on a vacation now to make up for it. There's very little I don't emotion. Believe cheating. There, there, the emotional intelligence is not there once a man feels like I can buy and have whatever I want. And in Agreed. terms of men that reach that, and baby, we don't want to get into the Weinsteins. We see what's happening with Diddy now. We yep. see what's happening. Once you reach a place where you feel like the world is at your knees, you believe every woman is accessible, every club, every meal, every everything you want is there. And it doesn't, dep it doesn't matter how you act. So where you're talking about, if you're showing up as this rich, successful, wealthy, powerful man, okay. as a woman, we, especially the right woman, we dealt with y'all before. Yeah. The same way you probably looking at her, you done dealt with a well, beautiful, about, attractive but, woman but before. I, I want to break down. But see, this is my thing. You got to ask me the facts. The fact is, is that I didn't walk into her life. She okay. walked into mine. I'm in my office. She walks Thank into you. mine. She sees, Narrate. by the way, she sees what she sees. By the way, I'm cool with it. And I do believe that a man, if you're broke, you should give time. I believe that. No, no. Set the scene, Ray. She no, no, walks no. into the office she walks and to the sees office. you with your velour sweatsuit. No, no, no. She walks into my office and one of my boys tried to holler at her. Okay. And then she was like, nigga, you got some nerve. I'm going to fuck with anybody. I want him. Mm. Then what she tells my boy. She chose, you. She chose me. Oh. So, so. Like, I don't know who the fuck she sees she's talking to. I don't try women. I don't attempt. I don't ask for numbers. I don't do none of that shit because I am not going to give anybody an excuse to say that powerful man used his power over me. No, no, no. So I, I, don't, I don't play like that. So when someone comes at me, but my only thing, my only, my thing is this. I'm going to tell you something about me. I like hoes. <laughs> 
all men do. I know, but his, I love. See no, how, this see, is the, see, how, see how she said. See how she said. All men do. All, By the all way, men I do. Look, like all women like men with money and success. Oh, Here's baby, the I ain't difference. Lie. Every married nigga I fucked, I was way different than their wives. No, that's true. I wasn't that's at true. all nothing no, but, like them. No, but to be honest with you, that's a whole other conversation to get it with men. Okay, because okay, niggas, okay, we because niggas, that's another problem I have with men. They'll have this born bitch at home mm -hmm. and be chasing the good fine chicks, mm -hmm. and it's like, nigga, you confused. Yeah, I want. No, they're not confused. I want Let's fun everywhere good. I go. We we all have uh, we all have our our we all have our our check boxes, right? Yes. And so. As we grow up, we have this still Disney fairy tale idea of what, uh, you know, the what American love feels dream. Like, for sure, the, the American dream. We're gonna graduate high school, go to college, find the love of our life, whether if we did in high school or college, and then we're gonna get married. We're gonna have kids. White picket fence. We're gonna work a job, work there for forty years, have our social security. Yep. That is actually not. That doesn't happen anymore. It's but it's not the reality. Social security mm -hmm. about to be done. Yep. Ain't none of us getting it. Yep. So like. And also now women, uh, in 1972, I believe, was the first year that women could even have their own uh, checking accounts without a man. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, 1972. Shit. So we're now in a place where women are also the breadwinners. The gender roles are reversing. They're changing. How we show up in each other's lives is shifting. And so where maybe How do you it feel about that? I mean, I ain't going to hold you. Because I, really, I, I see you as an alpha female, and that's what I want to I talk about. Sucks. I want to know, how do you feel about gender roles change and everything happening? Oh, baby, when, I, when there's too many dishes in my sink, I call my cleaner now. Whoa. Okay. I don't, and I hate it for me, but mm -hmm. I love it for me because I was broke. Yeah. Like, literally, I can, sure. go back, I can go back five years from now, five years from today, and I was deciding between, like, okay, do I do food or toilet paper? Not being able to go mm. to the ATM to take out money because it was twenty dollar minimum. Other. Yeah. God damn it, I can't get eighteen sure. out of this bitch. Mm. No. So like I'm in a place now where I feel I'm 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 blessed. There's a privilege sure. in how I'm able to spend money now. But it's definitely clean. Cook. My ex got mad at me because I was I was busy. I'm touring. Uber Eats. I'm paying for it. Yeah. But he wanted home cooked meals. Yeah. And that became an issue. I can understand that by and the way. And by, and by the way, I I'm on your side. Like See, this is the thing. I want to make. Fed, I want to make it. I want to make it clear, <laughs> is that I'm. I'm all about. I'm all about whatever works for you works for you. Yeah. My only thing I'm asking is is how, like for you. So when I'm listening to you, I'm like, what kind of dudes does she get? Oh my god! Because that's the comments. Who the fuck is fucking her? Who no, 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 no. I know somebody gonna but, fuck. No, oh no, they somebody all, gonna fuck for sure. Niggas gonna line the fuck. And dude, and they was fucking me as yeah. a big bitch. Yeah, <laughs> I was getting way more fuck. niggas when I was a fat. Niggas that girl. Nick, yeah, she, yeah, she. <laughs> right now, shut up. Right now, she, she always look good though. I don't, yeah, and did, but when I was two thirty, five one, two thirty, these niggas was still trying. Mm, Still that's, on your back, huh? It was. That's my point. And so, now I have morals and standards, and dating sucks. I actually wish I didn't have so many standards. I was going to ask dating you that. Dating as a woman with standards is hard. Dating as a woman with dating as a woman who fuck standards, standards for herself is hard. Oh. Like just like fuck standards from a man. The no, standards, standards that for I demand yourself. for myself, the respect that I want you to have for me as a person, like me. Like I don't like I don't care who you are. If we're dealing with each other, don't ever curse at me in public. Don't ever disrespect me in public. If you want to get in the room with this me and you curse me out all day, but you, because I'm gonna, if you're gonna end up to your persona, I'm gonna have to end up to mine. I mean, it's it's a little bit more for me now. Like, um, it took until my 30s to even experience intimacy. Yeah. And so now, like, the idea of laying with a guy who's not gonna cuddle or yeah. watch a series with me, those are like the things sure. I want now. Like. I want to be able to watch a show with someone. And so it's it's time. It's, I would say, acts of service. Uh, just the consideration of my schedule and things like that is what I want. Dick is... God Last damn, thing on your list. Mother, no, first For off, sure. it's at abundance. Yeah. It's out here. You can yeah. get it. Yeah. It's just there. Dick and pussy. Women are so pussy easy. too. And it's just like... Sex is now as something that drove me for so long. I feel like it's something I depended on for survival is the last thing I want in an interpersonal relationship with somebody. Same way. And it's really like getting someone to respect you is actually getting someone to fuck is easy. Getting someone to respect you is like where I'm just like, that's where when dating, when meeting someone, I would like someone to care for me. I would like to know I'm spending time with someone. I don't have a lot of spare time. So when I have free time, I want I want to know that you like me. I want to know that you care about my well-being 
and that we can enjoy each other's company and this isn't a transactional thing. So yeah. let's 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 speak let's not speak specifically. Let's make it up. Yeah. Cuz I'm from my perspective, I'm looking like she has to have a man to have successful, right? She has to have a successful man, right? Cuz obviously you're a woman, you got your yeah, own shit that, going man. on. You got your own <laughs> shit going on. You got to have a successful man, right? Um What does that mean to you? Well, to my me My ex I made 5 times more. Well, to me, well that's probably why he was your ex. No, we were together. So that's the thing too. I am not delusional. I want a black man. I, I, I'm about, that's all I'm about to go I make there. a yeah. lot of money. Yep. You are, I also have a height requirement and I'm shallow. What's your height requirement? Oh, like 6'3 plus. Six not six. you. You short. Um, I'm just acting, I'm acting for the desk, not for me. Nah, but you know, we've been chatting beforehand. Uh, <laughs> so he, he funny. I like him. He about to wring my neck. Um, so for me, so for me to know that like, like I always say me and Tyler Perry have the same type. Yeah. Uh, the, <laughs> the, <laughs> we do it's not, but if you, you don't like look like you would be too? casted in a Tyler Perry film, I probably won't look your way. Like I want men and women attracted to you. I want you to walk through the door and they be like, that is a that is a handsome ass motherfucker. Yeah. Me and Tyler Perry, same casting. Absolutely. But but then that means that you will probably need Cause see, you have the physical requirements, but then what really matters that lasts is the mental requirements. The men, who his heart is in his brain. So that's why I was asking, like, how, like, so he has to be tall. He has to be attractive, okay, of of course. But he has to be somewhat driven to be with you. Cause how's he gonna understand you? Like, how's he gonna understand you're getting up out the bed to go to handle your business if he's not driven? So let's. Now it's like that. It's like the car, um, that the the car, the car fast commercial where they like, you want a red car? We send you a million red cars. Oh, you want a red Ford? Okay, now let's. Oh, you want a red Ford convertible? Oh, you want yep. under fifty thousand miles? So what happens is, is that when I look at women like yourself, I'm like, man, it gotta be hard because it's not like she's not dope, and it's not like she's not those things. But there's a certain type that's gonna get you, and there's a type that's just not gonna understand it and then mm -hmm. there's a type that might get you but might be six feet and ain't six three and he's out the pitch already so i know how difficult it might be but i was just asking like like how do you see the gender roles going forward because i'm afraid for the world with the way gender oh. roles are going like i'm I, it scares me why because because i don't want my daughter who is six to be 26 and dealing with a guy that she has to pull a gun out, gun out and protect her for, against. Like, because he's a bitch. Because men, one thing I'll tell you about men that I'll tell any woman listening, a man will show up, and this is fucked up, guys. This is embarrassing, but it's the truth. A man will show up and be what he needs to be. He required to be. That doesn't mean he's going to show up and be what the, he's not going to overachieve. He's going to do just enough, like, he makes, he, like you said, he dates in and shit. Like, so let's say if you're a broke nigga, like I was once a broke nigga and I like bitches. By the way, the reason why I became who I became is because I like bitches. And I'm like, mm -hmm. and women have no problem. No, but women, fuck all that. Fuck the cost, nigga. No matter who you are, you could be the, 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 the most wanted nigga in the game. Drake still spend money on bitches. You're not going to get away from cost. That's going to come with it. But um, my thing that, you made me forget my, my thought process. My thing, no, nah, it's all good. My thought process was, was that how do, I forgot. Well, I, I was gonna come I, well, to me. Well, gonna well, first to me, off, I was, I I was gonna let you get your shit off, but I hate what you just said. Tell me, um, mm. especially because you said, "What if my daughter dates a bitch nigga?" You brought up her having to pull out a gun. You went back to protection. Absolutely. And you relate though a man protecting as being a bitch nigga. Why can't you just say, "I would like my my daughter to be with someone who can be upfront if he is monogamous or not, that treats my daughter well." that shows her the respect she deserves. Like the idea of just even minimizing, again, a man or your daughter's partner to just being someone that should just protect her or aligning someone that can't protect her as a bitch. That was actually, so that was actually- I, I, I like where you're like, going. My, like my last, my last relationship, that's actually, and so he was 17 years my senior. Yeah. So older. And he said that, A, I got money, so he's not providing. Bitch, I pay my own bills. And- he used to always say, he was like, I hate that when you're out, I don't have to worry if you're good or not. Nah. Because I want to be able to feel like I can protect you. Nah. And that's that's, that's different. You're talking about no, something totally he different. He literally used to say this, though. But again, back to back to the mindset of 
what I feel like black men have in terms of gender roles. It's to protect and provide. It's actually not to be a great upstanding partner to a woman. Well, it's not to respect the woman. It's not to to support the woman in her dreams. If this woman don't cook my home cooked meals or has her own job, like let's be very clear too. Yeah, but, but, but when see, I deal see, with women see, with but, power but, but, money too, the but, idea of me having a... They expect me to call off work and but, to change but, my schedule for them. They would never. Mandy, this is the third time you did what you just did. Let, I say one thing yep. and I'll say, I'll say I stand at B and then you'll run me all the way to Z. I'm not talking about, I agree, every, by the way, I am for women. I think women should run the world. I think women are the better versions of us. But what I'm saying is, mm -hmm. is that I also want, to, what percentage of men, if you had to guess, are in jail <laughs> right now? Men in jail are in jail because they protected or did something for a female. You asked me for the percentage of that? I'm saying what percentage Less if you had to guess? Less than 10%. Less nah, than fuck 10. Out of here. I look every man. At least 50. At least 50. I, like, like, like that's what, see, that's what I'm trying to get you to understand. See, this is the problem with the world. Every time a man talks about the world, I'll let you finish. Where are these finish. stats coming from? Huh? I need a stat. The, no, look up the stat. I'm saying, uh, you got look six men the in the room that all said we are men. I know men that are in jail right now for killing someone. Right now, it's a huge story in Georgia. A father. A daughter is arguing with her boyfriend. The father, the boyfriend puts his hands on her. The father pulls up, fights the boyfriend. The boyfriend and the father fight. The father pulls out a gun, tries to shoot a boyfriend. The gun doesn't shoot. The boyfriend pulls out his gun, shoot the father back, hit him in the thigh. The daughter, this happened last week. The daughter slapped, shot her boyfriend and killed him because he shot her father. Now, mind you, all of this could have been stopped if the girl was like, you know what? You're going to be the type of niggas going to hit me. I know my daddy is crazy. Let me get the fuck out of this situation. So there is, like, Mandy, you are a shit talker. You are a big shit talker. You just said this about six no. times now. Here's the question, though. Here, but here's my question. I'm only reiterating because the way I like to argue and talk, I like to use facts. So you are a big shit talker, right? But you <laughs> don't, you don't have never went out, or maybe you do, and worry about a woman shooting you because of something you said. Do you? Bullshit. You do. You got First off, a you lot of no, you worry about a, a woman shooting you. A lot of bitches is pussy. Let's be very clear. So, and I don't. And I'm a Florida bitch. So what's up? But Florida is different. You, you they shoot down mean? there. No, no, no. So, well, well let's, be very, let's be very clear. What you're even saying though is why I was just looking at, at properties in Georgia. Mm -hmm. I feel the most unsafe. Florida, Georgia, Texas. Mm. I literally was just telling them I went on a date, got sushi, nigga had a whole get. I said, nigga, is the fish going to shoot you? Do you need that on the date with me? And so to me, where every time I visit here, it, it sucks because this is where I'm from. Like, sure. Went to high school in Atlanta, grew up sure. in Florida. I lived in New York for 12 years and I feel the most safe in New York. Baby, think you're going to have a gun, you're going to be locked up. Exactly. The gun laws to me protect me to where I don't have to feel that way. I can understand that. And to that. me, I don't think... Any, and here we go. Now that's getting into gun laws. I think that a lot of people are unequipped, specifically our own community. For sure. Who refuses to have therapy. I love that we're now having more of For it. Sure. But how are you equipping people with machinery that can take lives when they're not even in therapy knowing themselves uh, that, or dealing with dealing with, mind you, we're now in a place where everyone is like, yes, I have ADHD. I have autism. I'm bipolar. Love that everyone is now talking about this, but now we're getting people who may not be able to control their emotions, weapons that, and we saw that a lot during the pandemic. Someone put snow on someone else's yard in Philly, shot them. Road rage, especially here in New uh, in Atlanta Georgia, is terrible. Hmm. You yeah. cut a car off, they might shoot, and you. they might shoot you. I was with my mom in Florida, and she stole a parking spot. And I said, oh, no, bitch, give them the spot. We go die. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't want to live in fear like that, but it's literally because you don't know what's going to tick someone so, off. So I want to tell you something. As a man, what you just described this last mm -hmm. 30 seconds, that's every moment of our lives. Uh, I, every I moment of my life is making sure that the women and the children in my life are in a safe, protected space. By the way. There's a million other things I worry about, mm -hmm. but the most important, like if my, if you are my sister and someone hurt you and you was out with your boyfriend, the first thing I want to know is what were you doing? Now, mind you, if someone hurt him, you supposed to run, call the cops, get help. 
You see, we understand the generals. So that's what scares me. What scares me is that, like, because they're, the generals are not lining up the way they used to, it scares me that the future is going to look like, like, I've had women jump in my face saying, what you going to do, nigga, bitch? And I'm like, I, I can beat you in a one-on-one fight. Like, why would you? Like, I would never jump in a man's face right. that I know can fucking be I would never jump in fucking Mike Tyson's face and be like bitch ass nigga cause yeah. I know there's a consequence to it I agree women talk shit without the, con- the, the, the threats of consequences because you know if you touch her you gotta deal with the law and you're gonna have to deal with whoever the fuck her right. family is that's gonna protect her which I don't like that I think that that's and, and I'm completely I understand against, why you don't like it I, I'm yeah. completely against that I'm also completely against men involving themselves in things. I, there was the uh, there was the thing in Florida last year with the football player, where he was dating a married woman, and they were broken up. I can't remember the name, but basically, they got into an argument. She called her brother. Her brother brought her friends over, shot up the house, and they said that they were just trying to scare him. He came out with the chop, a little killed killed one of them, and then the other two. And he was on trial for killing someone. He was like, I was, they came up and shot up my home. Yeah, and she literally, understand. and she literally was like, I told them to go light that nigga house up. And her, she didn't receive any consequences for that. Yeah. I hate that. And I've said this. It's a, I believe in equal opportunity and calling out both genders. For sure. Women, unfortunately, weaponize a lot of things. And my, and my thing is, I use a, Mike and Evans. that is one. Mike Evans, the, he's the all-star wide receiver. Y'all know that is for Tampa Bay. Mm-hmm. You, know, you know he doesn't know his father, right? His father's dead. You know his father's dead. He, doesn't know, he also doesn't know his uncle. His uncle killed his father because his father beat up his wife. Now, mind you, now he beat up his baby oh. mama. Now, mind you, Mike Evans is rich, successful. Mom is living good. Father's in de- father's dead. Uncle's in jail doing life with no, with no parole. Meanwhile, the victim was the wa- the mother. She's right here living the benefit of her son being in the NFL. My thing is, is that how could we like I want I love us. My only thing is how can we prevent me and I you as an enemy? You, I want niggas to go to jail for lying. Niggas be lying, bitches be lying, and we need to put some consequences. I agree. In jail terms, jail on people that. Oh, lock him up. Wow. Mm. Oh, I wish my ex could go to jail. Why? I wish that bitch could go to jail. If you, why? If you lie, what do you mean? Tell me why. Because there, there isn't big enough consequences for lying. We know that if you steal shit, if you sell certain drugs, if you do, you understand that you're taking a risk and there's a consequence if you're caught. Absolutely. With lying, no, you're just going to inflict trauma on someone else who once they find out, now they have to decide if they're going to put up with the shit or not. Mm. But there's not enough consequences for people who lie. I agree. Like, but but I, the, I don't know about jail. Oh, no. Lock them up. Put their goddamn dick in a chastity belt. They shouldn't be allowed to do a lot of things. That, oh, they can't fuck for six months. I guarantee you these niggas would be right there. Okay, so okay, like, okay. So I don't I, want I, people I, I to like lie. Where, I like where we're going. Let's stay there. <laughs> of course let's stay you there. Do. I want to ask you a question. Yes. Now, let's talk about what do you think happens to a woman lying? Because I don't want a woman to go to jail for lying to me, but I do think there should be a penalty. Now, men, men be mad about honesty too. Every, when so me and my ex would break up and then get back together <laughs> break up the makeup huh uh, that was him he was a narcissist but then that dumbass nigga wanted to know so who did you see? and i let him know every time mm, who you fuck with oh we couldn't watch certain games on tv <laughs> certain niggas couldn't be played in the car you're bad and i'm gonna tell you and you mad because they litter than you just so you know there is a line of niggas waiting. I'm choosing to be with you. So if you're going to ask, I'm going to tell. Now, see, that scares me. No, I'm going to be honest with you. Can I tell you what scares here. me? Why? Because I would. So, so there's a certain celebrity that we both know that was in a relationship with another celebrity. And I'll tell you guys offline because okay. I don't want no smoke with neither one. They're both Great. global superstars. But anyway, the reason why they got into it was because she was doing that. And she was basically telling him, like, oh, you think such and such your homeboy? <laughs> he fucked me two weeks ago. We was broken up. So now he was isolated. So all, and then at the end of it, she'd be like, all you got is me, nigga. Because mm. I'm the only one telling you the truth. Now, here's what I say. Okay. I, I think that that's dangerous because as a man, there's certain things that, I, like, I might not want to tell you the truth today because the truth might make you want to, I know you're crazy and I know you're going to kill Kate. And I'm I'm talking about you. I'm just saying in general, I know you're crazy and you're going to kill the girl. No, no, no. You're going to kill the girl who I just told you something and now lives are over with. Right? So I do believe that there are certain lies that 
should be told if they're going to protect the lives of others. Just me personally, because sometimes you got to just walk the fuck away. I ain't going to hold you. You said they broke up, and then she fucked somebody, and then they got back together? No, no, no. But, but the point is, is that- No, the point is, they was, they, you they, shouldn't they, have broke up with me then, nigga. Yeah, but they was, it was like three-day breakup moments. Th that's fine. Oh, and you thought I was going to wait? I didn't know how long this breakup was going to be. Yeah. Mm. You're not finna sit here and think you could break up with me and get back to me in, in the time that you broke up with me. I'm just supposed to wait you, around and cry nah, and not, be sad and not, wait for you not, to come not, back. Nah, don't wait around and cry. That's not, I'm not saying that. Go live your life if you have to. And did. But, and then when you, we came back, you asked me what I did. No, 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 no. no. He, if, never, if, he if, never asked. He didn't ask. Mm. No, I'm telling you. I'm, telling, my, I'm, my, I'm speaking specifically about this couple. I'm speaking specifically. He never okay. asked her. Because let me tell you something. There were times where he would run up on friends and they would be like, Damn, I didn't get a chance to tell him yet. And then he'll be like, yeah, I heard you on such and such. Day. Now, it's niggas that was my, I, I, I just didn't go, get a chance to tell you. you. This is the problem. Women have, like, we know about each other's past, each other's families, our allergies, all these things. Y'all have these surface-ass motherfucking relationships because I've had to tell niggas multiple times, your friend am I trying to holler at me. Your friend want to fuck. Of course. Your friend talking. And you think it's your friend and clearly he not. Like, so men. But that's good though. No, 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 no. No, it's what I'm saying is men loosely use this word friend because y'all have that's these good, surface though. type of relationships. I agree. And so now you upset because the nigga that you play fucking you pick up said. ball with once a week then tried to but, fuck. But look what you just said. See, you said something very factual. What I said. Tried. If you my woman and a nigga tried that I thought was my friend, now it's me and you against oh, no, him. No, no, I was your woman when we was together. But no, no, we're broken no. Up. But you fucked the nigga that you and knew was I was fine. cool with. Mm -hmm, so I'm. It's gonna cause trauma. Everyone's for the take problem. In. No, listen, you are not gonna keep me from my soulmate. And if we is broken up, maybe this nigga is my soulmate. Can I ask you a question? The fuck? Let me ask yes. you a question. <laughs> <laughs> do Do you think women could be predators? Um. I think humans have the capability to manipulate people. Yes. Predators is different. I don't like this word predator being used right now because if we are talking about adults, predatory could lean into manipulation, narcissism, all those other words. Predatory to me makes me think of pedophilia. Okay. And that's where I think there's been a lot of lines drawn with this conversation of age gaps between people recently. Mm -hmm. I don't like the word predator because it, or grooming, all these words, leave that to R. Kelly and Weinstein and what we know that they were dealing with underage individuals. When we're talking about a 22-year-old and a 39-year-old predator, pre no, no, no. I, I, I agree do, I believe, do I believe that women prey on rich niggas Absolutely. or would like a rich nigga and will sit here and dress a certain way, show off a certain way, look a certain way to get into the... To Which the room nigga? or access yeah. to them? Of course. But it's the same way men love very attractive women. Women that are available. Which is why they date the strippers, the bartenders, and the women without the corporate jobs. Because they want access. People want things. And That's, it's fine. They, that, they, want, they want hoes. And they love hoes. We love, love hoes. Them. But yeah. it's also the, the accessibility of those. People, are, people can have preferences. But when you start attaching like predator and all those other words to it, it bothers me, especially when... It's two consenting adults. Can I tell you a secret? I've never told anybody anything of this on record. My fear, because one thing we don't acknowledge is, is that a lot of us can't control how we feel. Like, we get mad that you feel a way about something, mm -hmm. but it's like, nigga, I, I can't control that I feel that way. Like, this is, now maybe I can go deep inside and ask myself why I feel that way, mm -hmm. but I still can't control I feel that way. Um, but the one thing that, I guess my, my, my problem is, is that, we know we can't control who we love, but then we punish people for loving what they love. And if it doesn't match the narrative, but love is the one thing we can't control. Like, I got a bitch that tried to ruin my life that I dealt with. I, I, in that terms, I should hate her. I still love her because I loved her. I can't oh, help it. I ain't going to lie. I still be showing up. I be like, look at my ex. He was fine with his trifling cheating ass. Yeah, yeah, I but still love still her. Fine. I still fine. I, st I still love her because of be my... Mad, but yeah, you know what I'm trying to say? So for me, I, hard. I agree... By the way, I want to make this known. You have not said one thing I don't agree with, but we got to acknowledge that it's dangerous. My, my opinion. Your thought process is dangerous. Are, why is it dangerous? Because, because just see, this is the one thing that I think men understand that if women can understand this, it will make the world better. 
just because it's right to you doesn't mean like just because you think fuck him fuck that nigga nigga he did me dirty i'm happy with you that doesn't stop him from going to get a gun and killing me so and now i'm dead and it was like but he was wrong no but no, no, no. You so see what I'm saying? But, but that's where i feel like it, it's not i believe we people pleasing is a real thing yes at the end of the day everyone is going to have emotions based on how someone treats them how they show up in their lives their interaction for sure Nothing is going to keep me from getting killed, whether I love a man or not. I could actually want to leave a man. Not that I cheated on him, just that I want to leave and I could still be killed. Like, it's literally, shout out to, to, to my mama Tammy, <laughs> getting me to watch Lifetime as a seven-year-old. I don't watch this so many times to where I could show up as the loving, caring woman that now I'm staying with an abuser and now I just choose to leave for me and I still get killed. For sure. Like, at the end of the day, my decisions, I don't want to sit here and, and live in fear that putting myself first is going to put me in the jeopardy of me losing my life because I'm living a life only for me. It's not in the fear. I don't want you to live in the fear. I don't, I don't live right, in fear. Right, so I'm going to fuck who I want to fuck. I, but I'm saying I do, not? but you do have to live in the smart. Because, what'd you say? I didn't hear what happened. What'd you <laughs> I say? ain't say nothing. Ooh. I ain't say nothing. Well, say, what happened? I Damn, was that hair. picked up on my, I ain't say shit. Nah, stand in your truth. <laughs> Even if you're a fucking friend too? She said, "If you want to or not, if it's going down, but see, it's going but see, down. I, I just said friend is used, teammate, friend, cousin, brother. No, I'm just playing. Sixty-two percent of men in jail are in jail behind the crime that they did for behind a woman. And you know what's crazy? We say I don't show emotions. <laughs> Clearly, y'all niggas emotional. I agree, but go that, to that's, that's my point. But see, that's the point." You can't say that's a female thing. Now I'm gonna tell you the difference. Now, oh hit, my God. That, no, hit me out. Let me finish. Let me get out. Thing. Let me get out. Let me get out. You are right. Go <laughs> to therapy. But I'm as right. a man, I'm, I'm right. smart <laughs> enough to know he might not be mentally ready to go to therapy, which means I might have to kill him if he does something, or he might want to kill me, which means that we have to be smart about our approach. My only thing is this. I have no problem with nothing being said. My only problem that I have with being said is we act like there's no penalties to it. And sometimes those penalties aren't written in the book. They ain't always a penalty that we think is supposed to happen. They ain't always a penalty that we think is supposed to happen. There's sometimes like, dog, like, there's just sometimes fucked up shit. And I, my only thing is I'm saying is that I want to protect us. But this is not a woman or man thing. This is a human thing. I think there's, it's a woman-man no, thing. There's, no, there's women that kill their partners and women that go and fight other bitches for, for men that they love. Like, this is not a gender-specific thing. If I sit here and fuck a, a married man, I should be in fear that his wife is going to fucking go berserk and kill both of us. Like... A woman could also have the same reactions as a man would have in feeling disrespected. So this isn't this isn't that like but, but there's, decision, that. there's decisions that we make as human beings. I but agree. mind you, literally, okay, now we're dealing with emotions. I could hop on a plane. We see the planes falling apart now. Who knows? Get, hopping in a car. There's so many other ways in which things can happen. Again, I'm here. I'm so gonna I'm live. Ask, life so I'm gonna put you in a scenario. Yes. You have. You have a 16-year-old son yep. or a 16-year-old daughter. Yep. Are you going to tell them the same thing? Fuck who you want. Do what you want. Or are you going to say, you got to be careful because if you do that, there's a penalty to that? You know what's crazy about that? You can sit here and say all you want. We make our own decisions. No, I'm not asking. Like, I'm not, no, no, I'm not, no, no. Of course I'm telling you. Oh, absolutely. So like, are you going to say that? By the way, my first abortion was at 16. And I'm mad that my mom waited to tell me about her abortions until I was had to get my own. Mm -hmm. Like, there's conversations that where someone can tell you I've dealt with this type of person. I've done this. It's the same conversation, I, like, I think I was having maybe with you. It doesn't matter how someone said their life went. You're not going to know or change your ways until you learn on your own. Yes. We have books. Fucking Steve Harvey told us to wait 90 days for dick. We out here fucking niggas on the same night still. Like, but those are also sometimes relationships that we get in long standing. Mm -hmm. Like, we're only going to do what serves us and what works best for us. I don't work like that. And so, yeah, but you can sit here and be a fucking mentor. Talk your monologues. Get your little talking heads off and try to preach to the people. It doesn't mean it's going to really change their oh, own no, decisions. No, 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 no. I'm with the shits. <laughs> oh, no, no, we no. know. Let's be fucking clear. You didn't clear. say you weren't. No, I'm saying let's be clear. <laughs> but my thing is, is that I tell everybody there's two versions of me. There's this version that you meet right now. There's three versions of me. There's Not a three. There's a family man. Okay. Right? That my kids get. 
that my family gets, I'm a soft nigga for them. Like my daughter, I'm a, I'm, I'm in, I'm in my soft era when my daughter come around. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I'm whatever she wants me to be. Then there's this guy, businessman that has built everything, and then there's another nigga that likes to do what he likes to do once the work is done. You but nasty. my thing is, is that. But here's the thing: I still explain it from the jump. I'm clear about it, and it still doesn't stop from shit from having to happen. My, That's what I'm saying. My point. So no. If I get a 16-year-old and I say, be careful out in those streets, it's not going to save her from having to endure her own life and her own mistakes but, but it builds and her with, own but, experience. But it's still, but hold on, but hear me out. But it still builds with her. It's it, what? It builds her. Because there are things that all, everybody here, mom told us not to do. We listened anyway. We fucked up. Then we had to learn. Damn, I can't do that. So sometimes you need that person say, hey, don't enter that room. You're going to get beat up. Okay. Now, if I just enter the room and got beat up, is it my fault? No, nigga, I just walked in the door and got jumped. But if my mom told me or my father or somebody told me, don't go in that door, you're going to get jumped. If I still get jumped, when I come out, I'm not asking nobody, why didn't anybody warn me? I got warned. And me and what I do for a living, which I love I, in this chair, I'm talent. But what I do for a living is I take talent and I make them super versions of themselves. So it's not about what you know. It's not always about what you feel. Sometimes you need a coach to tell you you feel that way for this reason. But here's the reality of what's going to happen. So here's what you should do. And to me, I made a lot of people rich. It's harder to make them. It's harder to keep them rich once you make them rich. Because now they're not listening to you anymore, which is kind of what made me feel like I don't mind doing this for myself. But there is still a certain, to me, warning that has to come to people that we love. Because how do they get better if we don't tell them the how and why? Sounds good. We had all the commercials with the niggas with the goddamn shit on their throats and telling I, I niggas listen. not to smoke. There's still people that smoke cigarettes. Then we had a whole fucking HIV and AIDS epidemic. This is your brain on drugs commercial? Nick yeah, all that mm -hmm. shit. Niggas, is, niggas is like, you good, I'm good. We all need a rubber. Let's be very clear. Like Everyone has warnings for so many things in life. Put on your seatbelt. Do you know how many motherfuckers don't want to put on a seatbelt? Like, so there's warnings all day in life. Again, you're not going to know to put on your seatbelt until you get into a car I say accident. I want to tell you something, though. You're talking to someone that listened to those warnings. I smoked weed for the first time two weeks ago because I'd never forget. Here's your <laughs> egg on the pan. Here's your oh, brain. Yeah. Fine, Here's right. your brain on drugs. Any questions? Any questions? <laughs> that shit was enough for me. Literally. Like, so oh. for me, I, for me, I, I, and I actually. I'm a 90s baby. I never smoked I, a cigarette I in my life. Scary. I was scared. So me neither. Never smoked never a cigarette smoked in my a life. Cigarette in my because, life. But, never smoked a cigarette That's what I'm saying. But, but Mandy, life. but Mandy, you're proving the point. The warnings worked. So when you're saying sometimes you can't, I'm telling you, well, you and I are factors of someone who saw something that said, listen, if I slept with a thousand women in my life, only 10 gave you an STD. Nigga, oh, sorry. STD. I'm, I'm, just, I'm only, sorry. If I a slept thousand? with a thousand, I'm just thinking of slept, the odds. No, We're I, doing stats no, in here. If I slept with a thousand women, <laughs> by the way, I'm telling you a fact about me that I lived my life. If I fucked a thousand women, okay, I pro I only used protection. I only didn't use protection with fifteen of them. That's good. Because I've only had one woman pregnant. So sometimes when I hear women talking about men, it's weird to me because I'm like, that's not my experience. But I still have to acknowledge it is an experience. Oh, it is. And that's my point. So for me, it's like. No, no, no. That's why I said. And I you're a leader. I don't think you and I, we, we, we have a difference of opinion. For sure. Gotcha. No, I'm on your side. I, no, my, you but, haven't but said I, nothing that I don't no, agree but, with. And I, I mean, you've said a few things I disagree with. That's but, cool. But I don't, you ain't said nothing <laughs> I don't agree with. <laughs> but, but I feel like they're, they're just two sides to the same coin. My only thing that you're saying is, my only thing, everything you said I agree I with. I just didn't like that you said my thought process was dangerous. No, and no, no. I, hear me I, out. Hear I me highly out. disagree. Hear me out. But that's what I'm about to say. I didn't, only thing I didn't like that you didn't agree with only thing I didn't agree with is that after you say something crazy, because we say crazy shit. I put LOL at the end. You have and then to, it's okay. But there was no LOL, so I got to kind of tap in and be like, yo, LOL. you just said do what you want. <laughs> Fuck his friend. Like, that shit. LOL. There's penalties to that. There's penalties. And by the way, here's the best part I will say. The new world we live in, the penalties are no longer for the woman. It's only for the man. That's what I love about where we are right now. I love that, by the way. You so full of shit. That's not true. No. And these niggas get on my nerves. What do you mean these niggas get on your Tell me what was not full of shit. Tell me what I said that was full of shit. And tell me what I what said is, is not true. What is the penalty only for the men? What, like, explain what that is. What are you saying? It sounds good, but what does it mean? When I say. Apply it. That you, you just said that the penalty now is only. No, no. What I, what I mean by that is, like, as a man, you, women, one thing women are that men aren't, that men have to be better of, is women are emotionally intelligent. 
when they know what they're doing, right? So a woman, like you just said, fuck, who gives a fuck? And I'm saying to you, you ain't said nothing wrong, but be careful. That's all I would say. The same for men. There was I would say the same thing no, to men. And men do the same shit. This little fuck nigga, let me tell you this story. Tell me. This is how, this is how crazy <laughs> niggas are right now, right? Like, <laughs> now nah, here's like, because of the access that men have. A, you don't even want to take time. So went to this party recently. We're in the same building. He sees me. I get posted that I'm at this party. So instead of speaking to me at the party, he chooses to DM me. Wow. So cool. Slides in my DM. I'm like, okay, not really my type, but maybe this is what I got to do. I got to step out of my type for somebody. Looks like he might have money. So I was like, cool. So <laughs> wait, I was going to see. How tall was he? It was cute. Uh, like 6'5", six, 6'4". Six, oh, okay. Right. That's so I was like, your type then. But face-wise, mm. But I was like, okay, maybe I'll give it a try. So I'm literally entertaining him. We talking about like our last relationship. He just moved to New York. I'm like, great. We live 20 minutes away. He's literally like, I got to go to Africa this day, but I'm going to be back here. But let's go before you leave, before I leave. Let's link up. Let's do drinks. Cool. The next morning, no fucking lie. You ready? Yep. His page gets screenshotted to me, and my homegirl is like, hey, bitch, who is this? He just started liking my pictures and slid in my DMs. I said, let me see what that DM say. He's literally in my friend's DM that I know he found on my page. This bitch live in L.A. He immediately goes through my page, finds a friend that's just as attractive, and goes in. DMs her and is like, I find you very attractive. So I hit him, and I said, hey, we ain't got to get drinks since you want to slide in my homegirl DM. Blessed, my love. Good life. Yes. <laughs> Do you know he just had the nerve to slide back in my DMs? I messed up. Your personality seemed dope. I fucked up. My bad. You dumbass nigga. I sent him like, boy, bye. But literally, again, we now, the men now have access to literally visually being like so distracted to even just stick with one person that literally you're pursuing me. See one of my fine friends, because all my friends fine, slide into her DMs within 24 hours. Mind you, you're planning a date with me. And you found it okay to also try to shoot shots at my homegirl in the same day. Can I give you a thought? Pro can I give you? So this, you've said something. I, by the way, I was high as fuck, fuck last ass, night. Nigga. I was high last night. And I said, to, I said this to myself, guys. I was like, why don't we acknowledge how many relationships the algorithm has broken up? <laughs> now, here's why I say that. Because I can easily slide into like your picture mm -hmm. and then... Eight hours later, the algorithm is showing me a friend that's in the same world as you. I don't even know it's your friend. Oh, no, no, no. When I told him, he, he said, it. okay. Bitch, you knew you found that bitch on my page. Mm. It wasn't the algorithm. What? What? You went through, slid and saw that bitch, and slid and said, well, you're beautiful. It wasn't the algorithm, nigga. I'm going to no, tell you something. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Because when I called him out, he didn't even say, which friend? What you talking about? He said, okay, that nigga knew. He did. <laughs> See, but my thing, but here's the thing. I, first of all, first of all, first of all, nigga, first of all, this is something that women don't, I got to just say this. Uh -oh. I like this right here. What women don't understand about men, uh -oh. we can walk up and see four of y'all. Fine. You more attractive. That's the most least attractive. But if we know we're going to get the most fun with the least attractive one, if she's attractive, we want her. Men don't come to the table. Men really come to the table. And what we really should start saying is, hey, which one of y'all think I'm cute? Because I'll take anyone. Hold on. Hold on. Is that not true as a man? Hold on. Full is that not true, man? Full, full circle moment. Go ahead. Go ahead. But my mind is so dangerous. That bitch came in here and said, oh, who owns this? <laughs> That's who I want. That's what happened. And I love that. Right. So bitches That's do the same. That's dope. Oh, hold on. We'll be at the table. We'll be nice to everybody. Let me see who paid the bill. Who the boss? Bill. Who paying mm. the bill, bitch? I already know. I'll be nice to everybody. And you thought. And once I see you in here as a bitch at the table just like me, <laughs> I don't want you no By more. the way, can I be honest with you? Hold on. Let me say something. <laughs> you a bitch at the I, table like me getting free drinks. For the record. Posting it on the gram with your bitch ass. For the record. For the record. <laughs> I 1,000% agree with oh, you. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's. I just want okay. you, my only I thing, it. I, I love, love that. Like, love cause yeah. to me, I feel like, first of all, I tell him my motherfucking self. <laughs> I'm telling myself, I'll, I'll rap, you will know. I will, I've introduced girls I was fucking. Oh. All the time. Like, oh, no. you should know her, you should know her, y'all should know each other, and then walk away. Cause, cause I'm fucking both of you? Well, they know. See, that's what I'm saying about me. Can I be honest with you? I got money, and the last thing I want it's for a bitch to use my money against hold me. On, on. So uh, I'd rather a, a tell you woman. the truth. Oh, no, no, no. Only a woman, a woman, a woman wouldn't do that. A woman wouldn't do that. Okay. But a bitch Dude, would. We not finna do that. 
The same way niggas lame. We not lame. gonna do that. We I think not it's lame. gonna do that. We, but the whole, that's could, what we not gonna do. I can sit here and call bitches bitch because I be like, bitch, what's up, bitch? Women can say bitch. Men are not allowed to call us bitches. I do. Calm that shit down. They love me when I say that. Maybe in the bedroom, like, oh, nah, you're my nah, nasty nah, little nah. bitch. But you can't be on the pod calling so why the, why bitch, the, bitch. Why the fuck can they <laughs> sing this song as long as my bitch? See, this is another issue I have. <laughs> we we got to have the conversation. Can I tell y'all why? Y'all, by the way, can I tell y'all why? So many, <laughs> tell me, Ray let's go. Is, is I tell women the gymnastics. truth. You know what I tell women the truth? I'm going to tell y'all something that happened to me. I got caught cheating by, not even cheating. Neither one was my girlfriend. I was fucking with two girls. Okay. They both caught me because, and I didn't care. In your lies. Let's go. No, no lies. Well, they you knew got I, caught. No, you no, weren't being I, truthful. Me, okay, so now I'm going to add more facts to it since we're not second like that. <laughs> let me tell you why they got caught me. They knew I had other broads. It was just one broad that I was, that was my main bitch that I would tell the truth to. Keep it to and, broad. And uh -huh. she hit them and told them, look, his it was my 30th birthday. She said, he turning 30. I know you fucking with the nigga. I'm fucking with the nigga too. I'm going to fly us all first class to Bahamas to get his nigga a threesome. That's now, gangster. Hold on. No, no, I ain't, I ain't finished finish with the story. That's uh, not, 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 that's right, not even need important to share right now. You your hoes with me. Hold on. Yeah. I'll eat some pussy, but where we go? Oh, listen. <laughs> what I, type of bitches I, you fuck I, with? I'm telling. I'm oh, tell I want her. And, and by the way, and by the way, she tells us she want to fly me. She want to fly us there. Now, what happened was, was one of the girls was smart. And one of the girls was like, I'm down. But she was only down so the girl can tell her more shit about us. See, any girl that I fucked with has known that it was other women. My only thing is, I will tell you everything you need to know if it's going to show up at your doorstep. So I'm fucking mm. a girl in fucking Africa and I'll go there and see her when I go to Africa. I, you know I got bitches. I don't feel the need to tell you. I'm fucking my African bitches week. You know what it is. Yeah, I don't like bitches that do that. Like, uh, I, that was just done to me recently. And I had to call. I said, I will fight that hoe. Oh, no, no. Oh, I need to finish with the story. Let me tell no, you. No, but this is what bitches do. So, no, no, no. This is what bitches do. Finish the story. So I'm about to tell you. Because what, ha so what, ha what happened was these girls. So she tells. So one of the girls says, no. The other girl says, yes, but only to get more information. I don't know nothing, by the way, y'all. <laughs> so then they both start moving weird on me. I don't give a fuck. That's cool. I got you just, made, you just made room for more people to walk in. They show up to a party that we're doing. And they, and they bust me. And they think they bust me. And they see me. I'm like, yo, y'all want to come up here and get some drinks? What the fuck? Y'all both know I was fucking other bitches. That's cool. Y'all knew that. But here's what got interesting. They became friends, which Man. I'm cool with. I like for my bitches to be friends. I like for my girl. Everybody should be friends. There's nobody should hit or hurt nobody. It's nothing. Mm -hmm. Hear me out. They became friends. They called me one day talking about each other because that's what women do. How'd you like her? We was hanging out the other night and Trey Songs was there. And you know, Trey was all over me, but that bitch is in Trey face. Okay. She calls me and tells me the same exact story. Now here's what was interesting to me. Y'all both knew that he was trying to get at both of y'all. He could have, and it was okay. But when I do it, y'all show up to bust me. So y'all basically just told me that Trey Songs can do things that I can't. See, I'm too arrogant to let that happen to me. I think I'm that nigga too. So if he can do it, I can too. And we're gonna, if, if y'all can know that, it's, if y'all are, like, bitches be waiting in line to fuck with celebrities. I'm a celebrity in my motherfucking head. Y'all gonna do the same, give me the same respect. <laughs> or, and that's when I started telling chicks the truth. Because you'll lay up with it, like you just said. You just said some real shit. 6'3", boom, boom. I love that you got standards. But you also said, you also said, you can't listen to that album no more. No, that, no, no. Well, I hold on, hit me out, hit me out. No, you he, said the, it. No, the you, nigga told yeah. me that. I know, but I know, but my point is that usually means you fuck the artist. How many motherfucking artists are out he here? He was released? actually the rebound for the artist. How many artists He's are 6'3"? Was the artist 6'3"? No, there's a lot of, there's a lot of. Was the he 6'3"? Was, oh, the, was the artist 6'3"? Was the artist 6'3 that we talking about? Yeah. I don't know about, I don't know about completely. I don't know. Well, the only reason I, come, only reason I believe it is because An you said- An artist can be a painter. No, no, the only reason why you said- Oh, <laughs> stupid. The only reason why you said- But you, but you can't listen to painters. You got to listen mm. to the music. Okay, so. well, fine. He could be a musician. So when Listen, I'm, Andre 3000 just dropped a flute album. Nigga, maybe I'm talking about a flutist, no, nigga. but Andre 3000 ain't 6'3". <laughs> but he's not 6'3". I ain't talking and, about Andre and, 3000. And let's be clear. You've also made it known that there is a money requirement. I don't know no musicians that are multimillionaires. Oh, but you don't know how long ago I was fucking them. That's true, but we're here now. But just so you know. <laughs> I'm like, we now so you know, I love it. Hey, that's why now I don't talk yeah. to these artists. Yeah. But no, but, but my, my whole point, but my whole point, but my whole point is this. Is that, is that, is that you have these celebrities who have these relationships <laughs> and women still sleep with them, whether they're married or not. And my thing is, is that's accepted. Why? Because he is who he is. 
Well, I'm who the fuck I am too. So if they gonna be get, if, if you think you gonna come in my life and tell me, Ray, you can't do that, but my ex could, we have a fucking problem. And you know what? Everything has to stop right you, now. You know, you know why I love But I wouldn't do that to you. You know why I love that you just said that? Tell me. Cause as a woman, that's what I think. <laughs> we have a fucking problem. If, I'm, if, I, if, show, I, if I'm doing something for her that I didn't do for you, I'm, I got to show up for you the same way and better. And so I got to show up for your friend the same way or better too. Ooh. Fuck out of here. You want me to be friends with the bitch you fucking married my... Like, you're literally contradicting everything you're saying. No, I'm not. I'm literally just sitting here as a woman saying... Tell me, I'm, I'm a, where's the contradiction? Oh, I ain't gonna hold you. I would love to have two boyfriends. And that's and cool. And if y'all happen to be friends, y'all go shoot that's basketball cool. together and we could all watch but, Netflix but, when we get home. If that's as a great. Man, if, right, so if as a man you could sit here and say you want your hoes to be friends, I would just love to maybe... Y'all was already friends and now y'all both my hoes. That's fine. That's cool with me though. But here's the thing. The, my, I'm, I love that because it's straight up. Right. Give me an option. Right. Like me, for and example. I, give, like when, I will when give I tell, you when I, when I, let you. That's all I said. When I'm I tell, When I tell women that I, how I am and they be like, well, can a woman be like that? I tell them she can be like that. But the nature of the relationship is going to have to change. And that's fine. And that's, that's my point. I'm cool. Listen. Because let's be very I'm clear. I'm cool with these, everybody these, doing what they these, want. These, these women that ended up feeling away. And when we talk about polygamy, normally it means that the partners that you get, they all get the same thing. Like over in the Middle East, mm. one wife get a car, the other has to get a car. One get a house, the other equal, get a house. Equal. If there was a reason why your, these women that you were dealing with felt away, it's because they realized that there was a difference in treatment between Agreed. the two of them. I learned and that so too. And so one actually felt like she was maybe getting more than the other. And that's where the discrepancy I came agree. in. That's where one started getting bitter or jealous or feeling upset because... Here's the thing. Women live in Delulu. So we want to believe that our pussy is the best. We getting treated the best. And a man is showing up for us. It, side bitches think this. A nigga could be married and I'm going to believe he liked me more than a wife. Because he laid up with me. Bitches be dumb. And so I, I if, he does. If now they have the access to hear how, they, how you're treating them. Again, maybe that's that's on you. You better treat all these hoes the same moving forward. I agree. <laughs> notice everybody get treated. Notice what the same. you said. I agree. Yeah. I have no. No, this I love it. no, everything. No, no, I agree. My this only, isn't a, a, yeah. This isn't an agree to disagree conversation. No, 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 I let you but, I, but I'm only, but I'm, only but I'm only saying that because I am. That's what I'm saying. I think if it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. But I oh. tell women one fact, one fun fact that no matter how much we try to put gender roles on, you can't change this. I can fuck 100 women over a 30 day period and I can get all 100 pregnant by me and I can have 100 women pregnant by me. A woman can fuck 100 men, but she's only pregnant by one. That has nothing to do with me. That's a fact that God made. So that's so that tells me, baby, you sure you I don't know if it was ordained for you to be like that. Now, some women deserve to be like that because they just wired differently. Well, also, I'm pro most choice, so that one nigga, that baby not going to make it anyway. So mm -hmm. what does that matter? Why are we bringing up reproductive health here? Like as a woman, I hate that. Also, we're defined in our value by whether we could fucking procreate or not. Well, I don't, I don't give a fuck that I, I don't... could only be impregnated at one time by a man. I could. What does that matter? It doesn't. It matters when it a kid is born. It literally doesn't matter. When a child is born. Yay, you could have a thousand kids and not be a great father. So you're not even a great human being. Just because you can impregnate all these multiple women every day of your life if I, you want to. By the way, to, yeah, I agree. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't. I'm not arguing that. Oh, no. And we're not arguing oh, here so at I all. just said it's a fact, though. Yeah, and I'm also just saying, fuck that fact. What does it mean? Mm. <laughs> you know what that, that reminds me of? Tell me. Y'all know, like, and I don't know if they're just bored now or they got to pay them. That's probably why niggas getting laid off. When you watch the NBA and they be like, this they be saying stats out of thin air like this person now has yeah. three thousand assists in the third quarter with four minutes left. Yep. Who gives a fuck? It's a stat that don't nobody give a fuck. It's a fact. It actually happened. As but a fan, why are we I bringing care. this up? As a, as a fan, I care. You don't give a fuck that someone I had do. thirty assists three it's, times in a row. It's important since, to us. Like, it's it's, a, but it's not, and it might only be if y'all on the motherfucking. Apps betting and gambling. No, now, no, 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 no. Your for, not, not, not for not for me. It's to me. For me, I'm I'm a study of greatness. So okay. I just want. So if someone did something great, I like to dive in and understand why what they did was greater. Like for example, you are one of the biggest podcasts out there. There's no one that watches this. When I said your name, I knew you from back in the day. I was like, I want to do man. It was like, who's that? I'm like, you just got to meet it. Who then said you meet who that? Jack, was like, Jack didn't know who it was. But the point is that when he kept, but then here's the thing. Hit me out real quick. 
Hit me out. The okay, point okay, is this: okay. is that the point is this: is that today he called me like, "Yo, this girl is a star. She got a great personality, nigga." That's why she's working in the podcast world. It's, that shit I'm trying to say. Like for me, yeah. I, the way I look at this world is: is we try to com- complicate shit. Winners win, losers lose. So that fun fact is there. The fact is, the fact is, is that you are a woman that I heard say on your podcast you you dealt with two men at one time or had a threesome with two first men. First off, you are bringing up things that does not need to be on your platform, sir. <laughs> but I would listen to it. Who told you to bring up that but when you said it, I, I heard res- one but when time. You, but when you said it, I respected it. See, this one thing about me. I don't think because I don't think because he got a my, dick. My future husband could be listening. You but got he, a male he, I promise you he's listening to your you shit more than listening to my truth, shit. Right? Oh, and dude, but hold on. Let me be able to tell him. <laughs> goddamn. No, no, but I was only saying that to say when I was listening, when I heard that, I was like driving over here and I was like, what kind of like because every man that has a dick ain't a man. Oh, oh we're not going to get into that. That's really <laughs> political right No, 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 no. I'm, no I'm, I'm speaking from a non-political standpoint okay. of just me as a man. Just because you're 23 and you have a dick don't mean that you're the same as me in my mind. You got to okay. earn the right to be me because I take care of a lot of mouths right. and I, tr- I, I carry myself like a man whose job is to do that. You take care of your mouth, nigga. We are not equal, my nigga. Talk you your sh- shit. That's, what, that's all I'm saying. So as much as we all like to think it's equal, I, I'm, by the way, I love radical shit. I'm on your side 100%. Right, my no, only thing I'm no. saying is, is I just don't want nobody to get hurt. And there's a weak, there's always we don't a weak want nigga. To get hurt. There's always a weak nigga on the other side that's going to do some d- weak or shit. Or a weak ass bitch. Like, again, it's humans. I agree. Which weak is why too. I'm like, fuck. Y'all should not be open to carry down here. Mm. Um, but, that, but that's what I'm that's saying. True. Too. At the end of the day, it's, it's everybody. Like, I know you like to separate by man, woman, these facts that, you know. Huh? You don't like that. No, I hate it because Why? people are, we all have feelings. We all have emotions. We all are going to respond to a lot of things actually the very same. Yeah. And so separating how we should respond based on certain things, like as a woman, I should expect and accept a man cheating because it's in our nature to be primal. No. No, what I'm saying Hell is, no. no, what I'm saying is those are, those are stats and facts that people put out yeah. there as an excuse as to why men can have multiple partners and women aren't supposed to. And when I'm a woman and it's like, oh, well, no, actually, I like to fuck this is probably more than men. Yeah. I would like two partners. Huh? I, I, I'm now a provider, so I would if like you, my man you, to and be. And if you had two niggas that was, the, one was a maintenance man and one was a hustler and they was good with it, I would be so happy for you. Well, I can't have two bosses. Not you making me happy You're not going to have gonna get two poor bosses. Mm-hmm. You're not going to get two bosses. Okay. Can I tell you why I say that? Yes. Here's why. Because I don't want to, because what I'm saying is that in order for a man I'm going to use me and I'm going to use also Tehran. Two guys that you know that started broke and became millionaires. Rich. The reason why, rich. And the reason why was because of our approach to being a man. We understood our role. Like Tehran told me the day he met me. Well, the day I met Tehran, I was so broke that I crashed on his, his couch, his extra room. That was being set up as a vanity for Cameron, who is now 20, about to be 21 this year. That's the day we met. But the point is, is that him and I both were saying, dog, when Cameron turns three, five, she's not going to know what broke is. That was our goal. That's man shit to me. By the way, I want, I feel like women should be on the front line too, because women are realer than, the women in my life are realer than most of the niggas in my life by far. So I'm on your side, but I do, as a man, my job is to always to provide and protect at the top of my list. So even if you was my bitch and you had a million dollars, that doesn't mean I don't want you to rub my back. That doesn't mean I no, want another. Course. See, I'm trying to say you could be the richest girl. I still want you to be my woman because, man, if you and I dated right now, I don't give a fuck how much money you got. You're not spending it when well, you're no, with me. Well, no, but that's the thing. But that's because men don't value that in a woman. So the way that you and Tehran have that, that's where even... When I met Tehran, I was broke as fuck. Yeah. In Atlanta, figuring shit out. Yeah. And I always told him, like, I'm going to be rich. I had all these ideas, didn't know how I was going to make it there, which is now we can appreciate, like, him seeing me tour. And, I, yes. like, I did exactly what I said I exactly. could, what I would do. Yeah. Again, the problem in separation there, as a man with money and, and power, your, your, your uh, value increases. Me as a woman now with money... I'm so proud of what I was able to do. Of and niggas course. was like, bitch, I don't care how much money you got. Bitch, like, like nothing that I've done and how I'm proud of myself holds any value to a man. Nah, that's so that, by, by the way. A lot of that, times that, it doesn't. No, I know that. But that is why I also talk. Because one thing you're never going to hear me say is, you're wrong. But if you said something right, my thing is, that's the bitch ass nigga shit we got to stop. I agree. I, like, to me, it's like, I didn't get on this platform 
to help women. I got on this platform to help men because I thought, I think when you help a great, build a great man, you build a great man for a great woman because women for the most part are women for the most part have they shit together like there there are not too many women that i know that are like i'm like damn that bitch is bad luck she ain't going nowhere <laughs> how many niggas you know like that though like nigga you ain't going nowhere in life Wait, a lot I, no no i know a lot of niggas i don't know a lot of women because let's be clear there are and it's another fun fact well yeah because bitches can always I, sell pussy i think no no i think 70 percent of female millionaires or sixty percent is a number of female millionaires. They became millionaires by divorce. I hate that. That's is a fact. Look it up right now while we're sitting here. I, I spread that myself. You even sitting here saying that women have there, there's a no. It's fucking not. And let's be very clear. Not a lot of motherfuckers have money. Why y'all think women need a millionaire to become a millionaire? Why do y'all think that women need to have babies for child support to actually have money coming in? That is that's false. true. That is false. Niggas is poor. Niggas is out here sleeping on bitches' couches. Let's be very clear. True. More women, I know more women that have their shit together than men. Men are sitting here manipulating women, sleeping on their couch, fucking off, like literally for homes to sleep in. I was once These that guy. Niggas be around literally at a table of five men. One nigga's paying the bill. Manny, I'm be, be Manny I, was, I was that guy right. that had a woman take care. I'm, I'm, I'm with you, but I'm, I'm. But to sit here and make it seem like women are only. Getting to I just say that no, 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 no. I just to say, say most women are millionaires because they divorced a, the millionaire. That is a stat. Wait, that wait, is not something that I, like you gotta understand. Hey, race stats. I we learned need, that. We need, we need. We need a website. Look it up. Look it up. Race Look it up. stats. Because for me, because I'm, being, I'm being honest with you, when I heard it, Mandy, I was like, no fucking way. There's not that many millionaires. I didn't believe it. That like there's a lot of millionaire women, like black women specifically are graduating at higher rates, have more degrees at higher rates, are starting businesses, successful businesses at higher rates. We not sitting here just twiddling our thumbs waiting for a nigga with money to become rich anymore. That's not what's happening. Can I tell you the difference right now? I just figured out the difference. I know what it is. Every time you speak for women, you say we. And every time I speak for men, I'm speaking for me. I, listen, I, I'm not, I know there's some lame bullshit but, well, niggas. I'm also speaking for me. No, I no, am no, a self-made... I know, but what, but what I'm saying is, is that, but there are Almost women. Out, there I like are to do women, net, not gross. But there, <laughs> so, <laughs> but there are women out here right now who are rich because they were mad. Like that's a fact. It's not something that okay, I made up. And so is Kevin Hunter. Let's go. Mary J. Blige's ex, Adele's ex, Kelly Clarkson's ex. There's a lot of men as well that got into the same boat. Can I tell you the like, difference? That's this few is, and far in between, though. No, 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 let, no. Let's say it's a it's lot of them. Let's say, it's, let's say it's a lot of them. Let's say she's saying what she's saying is a lot of them. But here's the difference. When that nigga come to a table around men, he don't get man treatment. Who? Them niggas you named. Nobody Who's sees Kendall and be like, oh, he's on. Everybody sees him, knows he's on for because of who he was. Kevin Hunter, nobody, like, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I agree with you. There are some bitch ass, lame ass, fucking whack ass niggas out here. And there's more. So wait, there's more respect. So. There's no respect because they got money from no. women. Hold on. But what's the difference from these, and if we want to get into it, A&Rs, managers, all these niggas that bent over to make money in the music industry and got their money doing some fucked up shit or trifling shit or stealing from people. So there's more respect for those men no. because they got it from other men instead of a woman? No. No. If you're saying men that sit at a table... A man that got money from a divorce from a woman isn't going to be viewed as a man or have the respect. No, he's not going to. From what? Niggas that didn't got money some bullshit ways? Them niggas, them niggas is all the same. I'm talking about me. Once again, when I speak, I, I'm speaking. I, I if I know a, if a nigga, speaking. if a nigga sit at a table. By the way, I was once a nigga that lived off bitches. Let's be clear. 2003 and four, I was couch hopping, fucking for a place to stay. I never admitted it, but I will tell you this: every bitch who house I laid on, I get. They all love me to this day. But it's one thing, Manny. I was a nigga telling them, "Hey, baby, you need to get your shit together if you want to go with me because I'm going to the top." And I was living with them. I love, I love that for them because a nigga sleeping on my couch, I, bitch, I'd laugh in your face. I got it. <laughs> That's, that was me. I, you sleeping on my couch, and I'm. No, I wasn't sleeping on the couch. You, well, I was where, sleeping in the bed. I'm sure you was. You broke niggas got to drop that dick to have a roof over their head. I'm sure you Absolutely. was. Absolutely. But <laughs> I, I, listen, nigga, where my, else would you but, go? But you my point be is, dick and when I got my and when else. I got my first check, I, I love that. For I you. took care of both of them. I looked out for both of them because I, I appreciated them for holding me down. 
What I I'm saying is that you. I'm saying is that there are bitch ass niggas, but if a nigga came to me and I like one of my friends' wife take care of him, nigga, when he calls me in the middle of the day, what you doing, nigga? Working. I'm not you. Ooh. I love. By the way, he don't take that as disrespectful. I love he him. Should. He shouldn't know. Lame ass nigga. That's what I'm saying. Sorry. But my thing is this: is that I don't <laughs> care. I don't care. Like my thing is, hey nigga. I have to work. You don't. Your wife takes care of you. I take care of everybody in my house. We are different. So, nigga, you can't call me Monday at 3 p.m. You can call me Saturday at 6 p.m. Because it's a Saturday. Can't I'm going to talk you all Sunday. day. You working on I'm Sunday. I'm working on the Sunday. By the way, he <laughs> called me this morning. Hands to the office. He's like, well, you, nigga, it's Sunday. You'll never work. I'm like, I got to film, nigga. You got to do what you got. Well, if, nigga, I thought you were working on weekends. I said, in the podcast world, I'm not what I am in the music world. Ooh, talk your in shit. the music world, I don't. I could take fucking three weeks off. My business is gonna be up. In the podcast world, I can't. Yeah, I'm a man though, and I don't respect nothing but real men. I can treat I you like a man, but you're not a man to me if your bitch take care of you. You're not a man to me if your chick. You're not a man to me. You're not the kind of man that I am. When this papa die, my motherfucking whole family gonna be like. All of this shit started with him. When you die, they're going to be like, hope mama's okay. Mm. Nigga, if something happened to me, mama is fine. Mm. And I that's what I'm trying to say. I, I started this show because I wanted uh, to hear a man talk and see a man talk. Not a nigga that's using this to get pussy. Right. I have no problem getting pussy. Talk your shit. Like it, it lands in my lap. Oh, I know. But it's easy. I'm a man. And what I'm saying is that when I see- I get it, pussy too. Good oh. for you. <laughs> hey, clap for that. Hey. Yo, y'all are so Yo, annoying. Y'all are You're so fucking annoying. He gives you a raise my hand like, I'm going to do it. But my point is this, is that and everything, you, and if you walked in the room and told Joe Digger, walked in the room and you was on some boss bitch shit, which you are, walk in the room you tell your nigga, that's your nigga, you tell him, yo, hang my jacket up. Every nigga, I, I might look oh, at no, nigga. I know. That's why I might look at a nigga and be like, "Yo, take mine too." That's why. <laughs> hey, hey, we just heard Kanye say it. that's why nobody respected Safari. Yeah, like, they actually asked him. They, literally, they can asked I fuck him, your bitch? He said, "Can I fuck your bitch?" Didn't even know that they were together because that's how and much the, he he embodied. Not a. And by the way, and Nikki, the by the way, and, by the way, and nigga, if you was around, I was around. You didn't know. I've been in a room with them. You didn't know they was fucking. Only it was only one thing happened. We was in a room one day and we was talking, and he came in a room and I was like, yo, I was like, because I was sitting closer. I was like, yo, I'm saying, I said, yeah, you let him sit. I was like, yo, problem, because I, I don't know, you know what I'm we saying. We thought he was her pop locking, uh, background Drop. dancer. But we, see how, but see how that is. So I want to let, let let's use that. I love that you went there. That's my point, nigga. Guess what? If my if when when Ari is front row with a sign saying I'm fucking your Gotti, everybody's like hell. Yeah, that's how that's the energy I be on. When a nigga's pop locking, niggas like, can I fuck her too? Because as a man, you when you carry yourself like you are that, they treat you like that. One of the main reasons why the world loves Beyonce is because of who her husband is too. Her husband will get the same amount of respect in the male world as she gets in the female world. That's yeah. why. If she was married to some janitor nigga, they'll be like, oh, mm. yeah, bitch, your husband's a janitor though. So, I'm, so I'm, I'm like, it's not fair. But in man's world, you have to be a man. And by the way, I believe that more of that energy is what's needed to make the world better. Imagine if a nigga doesn't take care of his kids and he's and his friends knew and his friends like hey bro we love you my nigga but don't come around us until you ready to be a daddy of your kids that's what that's what we need more of that's what i do that's what we need more of hold your friends accountable when they sit here and want to make bitches drunk because then they have easier access to them check your homeboys who might be beating on his girlfriend yep. or who might be cheating or who might not be paying child support those are the type of accountabilities we need unfortunately again with black men a lot of it's very surface. So you kind of don't know sometimes how a man is showing up I in agree. his other relationships or as a father or, you know, as a partner. You know him as him. Mm -hmm. You don't know him in his capacity to the people around him. Right. But it's because, again, relationships and conversations with, with men, specifically black men, are very surface. And I, have a, I had an idea. I didn't even tell you guys yet. I wanted to sit on the couch with three men on a come up. I want to talk to him. Like, because my thing is, hey, nigga. Let me tell you something. Nigga, if I, anytime I see a woman on a bus, I, um, I know a man failed her. Anytime I see a woman out here struggling for the kids, a man failed her. And for me, I'm like, well, shit, I might as well sit on the couch with some men and ask them, why is it so hard? And they could tell me all this shit. Then I'm like, well, you're fucking? Because guess what, nigga? Fucking is a rich man's sport. It is a rich man's oh, sport. I say it all the time, bro. It, and by the way, cheating is a really rich man's sport. 
But mm-hmm. if you out here fucking, and by the way, I was fucking when I was broke. Anybody gonna contradict? But I told the girl mm-hmm. from the minute I met her, I didn't have shit, Only and she still dick. took me in. But Mitch, I no, take me in. no, but I, but I did, but I did say <laughs> I got a big ass dream. And I'm gonna make oh, it. I did not think you were gonna say dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you thought? Oh shit! Hey, y'all heard big ass dream? I would never do that. I would never do that. I, would never do, I would never do that. I have a big ass mind. what? No, no, no. I I gotta, but I, but I, have, I have a big dream. But, my, but 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 here's the thing though. But that's why I told you. I remember one girl I was dealing with. I never forget. She had a. She was by the way. Don't judge her. She was in college, but she had a big picture of Usher on the wall. Nigga, I just moved in. I was like, I gotta come down. Her friends was like, look her friends like, bitch, how, you, nigga, how you ain't paying no bills and wall. you gotta take it, take it down. I said, one day me and him are gonna be friends if I get what I'm supposed to get. And I can't be cool with him oh, yeah, and bring and you she, around she that knowing pass. that you, knowing that you, oh no, ain't no hall pass. No? We should all have a hall pass for a celebrity. Oh, like now the celebrity, if the no, celebrity no, no, no. was a girl, no, no, no. maybe. No, 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 no. No dick runs up Everyone in Everyone should have a hall pass. Like if, if my partner, and I'm going to respect her relationship now. But if my partner said, my hall pass, I would like to be Rihanna. If you get into the room and are able to bag a Rihanna who you love or who you're a fan of, I cannot be mad if you get the chance or opportunity to fuck her. Nah. Like, there needs to be a hall pass in a relationship. Maybe out the gate. And maybe niggas don't be wanting to give me hall pass because, baby, I'm going to get in that room and meet him. <laughs> That's real easy. Who would you want your hall pass to be for? A weird day. We, about, we on the first date. You just set it up. I'm, I want to get to know you, but I need to know who your hall pass is for so I can get it out the okay, way now. Okay, I'm going to be respectful. The one man I would say is married, so I'm not going to say well, him it's right okay. That, that's it's okay. That's a respectful part. He's but, married. Oh, no, the other one yeah, isn't. Just he just but, got divorced. Can I say something? Jason but me- Momoa. Aquaman? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Women like him? Yes, fucking and respectfully, the married man would be Method Man. But Aquaman, since he's now divorced and it's, sure. It's, but by the way, we were speaking hypothetical anyway. Oh no, no, no. So it's okay. Oh no. I'm letting you know if if I'm on my first date and we talk on hall passes, let me know your celebrity crushes now. Here's mine. So if you see me in a picture with him, it might have went down. I, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna be like, babe, you won't believe. I'm gonna tell you. It's it's time to turn in that hall pass. So let me ask you a question. <laughs> how would you feel? How do you? No, 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 no. How, I'm gonna let him know. I'm here right now. I want to give you my hall pass. He about to swim. Here in we your go. <laughs> oh, Aquaman about to make me real wet. Okay. Oh, I am. Make me sweat. Make me <laughs> want. Oh shit. <laughs> make me lose. Oh, he doing all of oh, that. Oh, now see me. See me. I'll, Swimming in it's, these it's, guts. It is okay. No, it's, it's no. It's nobody. I give you a pass for. Okay. No. Can I say why? Permission? Yeah, well, I'm telling you, this is my hall pass. No, and then, but my thing is, like I said, I would take it, but then I will. The men in the room, they're like, bitch, fuck out of here. No, no, can I be honest with you? I'll be on first dates. I'm going to fuck every day. And I'm telling you, just come on a date with you. If you're not fucking me tonight, that means I'm not going to get none. I've, I've been known 10 years 50, saying that. I'm fucking tonight, whether it's with you or not. So I'm cool with you being honest. Oh, no, that's great. I'm cool with you being honest. I love but that because I hate that niggas think because you took me to Nobu and spent $87 on sushi that you should get my sushi. Hey, I agree. Fuck out of here. Nigga, I don't eat a lot. I have maybe two cocktails. Is a lot and then of, like, not a lot? I like, no, no, no. 87 at Nobu. For one piece it's like $100 a person. $87 at Nobu. No, see, you got to No, that's, I mean, she that's my meal. sushi, though. Oh, oh, oh sushi. Oh, Most, just sushi, okay. Oh, you yeah, know, the date's going to be 200 Like, if you eat. <laughs> she said $200, $200? On, uh, $87 on sushi. You, oh, like. Yeah, yeah. 87 okay. look, I done did the great math. That's not even including the tip. The drinks, $200. Yeah. Then I did the $200 dates. Right. I just sat here and did it economically. Okay, but can we, okay, so can we, you just got to just admit, you different. Uh uh-uh. uh. First off, oh, if you think more a lot of people women like, were like you? me, the world would be a better place. But no, let's be very clear. I'm friends and have had conversations with a lot of women. Uh, we just went on a 19 city tour. There are women that are like, you like you're me, or their yeah. friend is Wheezy. Like where maybe people like yes, I speak, I speak out loud the things yeah. that I think a lot of women don't. But I think I'm more like other women than not. Yeah. If that even no, no, makes no. sense. No, 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 like, you're, you're not. Like women aren't, uh, no, women aren't allowed to profess their love to get sex or the their fantasy of getting gang banged or their desire to like, you know, I mean, I'm just saying. There's a lot of it's, things that women don't speak up about, but it's absolutely that, in their mind. Is that a fantasy that you dream about? We're not going to do that. You already shared my fucking. <laughs> oh, I, 
I, I, I, I, I'm, I'm, back I'm, in I'm, I'm, I'm 2016. To be honest with you, can I be honest with you? I got more love and respect for you because I I like a motherfucker that's going to say this is me. I actually think the world would be better if more people no, just I came wish out and said people would show this up. Men, is me. I cannot be faithful. I want a pussy every now and then. And either you're going to accept that this is what I want or you're not. I wish more men would show up and just be real that they're not monogamous fucking partners, but yet you're aligning and getting into a monogamous relationship when that's not you. So for me, Baby, I want my hall pass. And if I don't get one, then you that's fine. This anyway. ain't going to work. I so want to travel. You'll, I want to be able to hit you up your, and be you'll like. You'll lose your relationship if you. The, the, lose my relationship. With, I'm not going to sit here. So if you would have got relationship with a guy, you love him, y'all got a good thing going, and you run into one of those guys, and he's like, yo, you want to go out? You go. And your man I said, to, I'm, I'm not going for it. What you going to say? I used to work in corporate America. So if I pull up to corporate, I if I pull up to a job. I love you, by the way. And they're like, we don't want tattoos visible. Well, bitch, I have visible tattoos. So here we are. Mm. You going to take me or you not? Or you can take Am tattoos off. Am I qualified off. or not? Or you can you take the tattoos off. And won't because this is me. There it is. So out the gate, you see exactly who I am, wh what I am, what I've done, because unfortunately my past is now all over the, you know, the rooms I'm in, mm. who my friends are. And if that doesn't work for you, baby, that's fine. There's, there's someone else. Like I'm not someone that's gonna feel like I have to 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 change or shape or or shape shift or code switch to be with a to get chosen by a nigga. Fuck out of here. Mm. I want to be with someone that I know loves me for me. Mm. I think I'm dope as fuck, and so I only want to be with a person that thinks that of me. And if you come in and want to start changing, that's the thing. Niggas want to date a stripper and then baby, I don't want you to strip no more. You met me how you I, met me. I agree. It is what it is. I agree. And so no, if a man comes to me and says I don't like this about you. That's too bad. All right. Well, somebody going to like it. Mm. I'll, I'll go out. Luckily, I have amazing friendships. Mm -hmm. I have people who have known me for a long time and have seen my show. Tehran has known me and baby, that's been all over the world. Like in terms of where I've been from going to school to being broke to lifting myself up. You've known me as, yeah, as sure. well that long. I love who I've become. Uh, and and so, I, by the way, and I love who you become too. I and, love it too. And so if, if it's too much for someone. If it doesn't align with their beliefs, what they want, how they see themselves in a relationship with another person, that's fine. Tell me I'm too much for you because good. I, I, I will never allow a man to say I'm too much for them mm. or that I'm my decisions in life and what I like to do make them uncomfortable. I don't want to live in fear of someone's insecurities. Mm. I want to be able to flourish and be goofy and take pickleback shots and go to strip clubs and have my face in a stripper ass, la, la, la. And go, maybe not, uh, you know, maybe not that. That doesn't bother but me I at all. I want to be able to do the I'm not things that by make me happy. Saying. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think that by the way, by I the live way, life for dope, me now. By the way, I would tell people that. I would tell people, I'm like, figure out what makes you happy. Be very honest with yourself. Yeah. And then find someone who is okay with you having those happy things and you okay with whatever makes them happy. And I believe in compromise and all those me things. Too. But I would never change, at this point, who I am. Yeah, like, like. To, to. To be chosen by one of these cheating ass lying ass niggas, child, please. I, f I feel like you need to open up like a university for women or something like. I mean, listen, I have horrible decisions. It's almost eight years running. We have a whore hive. We have a community. Um, that's what we call them, the whore hive. Mm. We have a community. We we've toured. We're now writing a book um, that'll hopefully be out next year. That will become a New York Times bestseller. Absolutely. And and to me, it's. It's again, we're in a generation now where we get to have conversations about non-monogamy. Right. We get to re-envision what happiness looks like for us. We get to chase our our goals and dreams before having to settle into motherhood or being someone's Agreed. wife. And I By think the way, and all I those things that, all those things are things that I would suggest every woman yeah, do. Me before, too. But it was but it's one thing that women do that you didn't do that we have to acknowledge that you well, also can't that. have babies. Oh, well, see, and that's the thing. So I don't want them. That, but the, I, Maybe I, I I'm booking that. a trip to St. Martin right now. I, can't, I took my homegirl out, and we paid, like I don't know, dinner was like $700, and she looked, she was like, oh, I can't do this. This is my babysitter for a week. She's like, I can't believe this. And I was like, bitch, I love this life. Yeah. The idea to have to decide between Pampers or a trip to St. Martin nah, or a babysitter. Not and at all. I'm, I love that I'm a selfish being. Me too. I think that people use selfish as a negative 
word. It's not. And I love that I put myself first. I, I'm happy. I love my friendships. Like all of my friends, my homegirls, I've been friends with 10 plus years. Nothing is like living a life fulfilled without being selfish. And so to me to know that I'm not living it for society's views on my dangerous opinions or for <laughs> a child, like I'm living life the way I'm navigating and what makes me comfortable. Yeah. And I've done a lot of things out of survival, things that I'm not proud of, things that I've had to learn Same from. Yeah. But I'm now at a place where I'm like, I'm choosing me and it feels so good. I'm ending businesses that no longer serve me. Yeah. I'm walking away from relationships that feel that don't make me feel good. Yeah. And like I've been demonized for doing the same. If you're working a job and you don't like it, you leave. Yeah. If you're in a relationship that feels unfulfilling, you, you leave. Exactly. And so to be demonized for doing that with my last business, like I'm just like, I'm a human, but I, I 100% put myself first. And if I'm the villain for putting myself first and being this selfish, opinionated, oh, loud mouth bitch that has been gang banged in the past, that's fine. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, sure. I live in my truth. I am who I am. I'm not pretending to be anybody. I'm not. I love that. Again, we didn't have conversations where we don't agree on a lot of shit. Yeah. But I've always been me. And I've always been me. You've always been me. I love it. Like that, but, and, by, and by the way, to me, if it's one thing that I want everybody here is that we don't always have to agree. Yeah. But we don't always have to be enemies because we don't agree. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And for me, my problem is don't villainize me for how I live my life that's because it. I'm not living my life the way you live your life. Yep. And by the way, I'm that's why I said I want to make this known. You have not said anything that I don't agree with because it's not about fucking me agreeing, my nigga. No, I appreciate it. You're not it. No, my this, woman, this, my nigga. You a is, friend of mine. I, I want <laughs> you can sit no real talk. You can say Yo, he whatever. came in here on his day off to work with me. What nigga? But I, but, my, <laughs> but my thing is I love that about you. I I wish more people lived in their truth. I know I'm happy because I live in my truth. But it's something that I just can't not mention about you that I think is the dopest part. The, the thing about you that I love is that you, you didn't allow yourself to be in one lane, right? You literally had, you was like, in our world, it's like, be, it's like let's say if a podcast, you was in more than one group. Uh -huh. And I love that you was in. That. I know who did that. Yes, I'm saying, but I, I want to ask you. Here. So, so my thing is, where'd you get that? Where'd you like? How, what was your thought process? Because for you to have been, because I, I know, I know you from the one that you would do with Antoinette. Oh yeah. See, so see the thing is, well, with Bridget, yeah. Antoinette just came on once a month. Shout out around the way. Okay, but that's how I met you. Yeah, yes, yeah. Well, yes, 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 well yes, that's yes. how I met you. That's no. how I met Antoinette. Antoinette. When we was in New York. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So love Antoinette. So, so see the thing is, was a podcast that. I launched under the Joe Budden Network. Mm -hmm. I, I've had horrible decisions, and it's a sex show. Mm. In terms of, again, I could talk politics, music, For a sure. lot of also my personal connections. I was telling her, Meezy, I got the, the, the leg tat on my leg from a tattoo party that Meezy threw back in, in mm. Decatur when I was yeah. 16 years old. Yeah. So, again, Tehran, Meezy, Sean, shout out to the whole LVRN team. These are people I knew growing up like yep. from high school. Yeah. Like canon, like I, I love like seeing yeah. all these people like so knew these people for so long. They wasn't come up horrible decisions with a ten foot pole. Let's Why? be very clear. They don't want to talk about it. They like they ass eight or not. They like love what you're doing with horrible. Not <laughs> it's not their brand. Mm. So horrible decisions. As we got bigger, I also realized, of course, being brand safe and growing and getting advertising deals and being in certain rooms with people. And though we fucking handled this made this a million dollar business niggas really only respected Weezy and I when we started opening up in our own studios mm. when we when we both got our own TV shows when they started seeing us working alongside Will Packer Kenya yeah. Barris they're like oh these bitches aren't just hoes they really do something I hated that people had to question my ability to run a business so starting see the thing is was I ain't gonna come on here and talk about sex I'm gonna talk News, pop culture, music, sport, whatever, because I could talk about any and everything. That's how I feel. That's yeah. why I did three shows. Cause and, I'm like, I don't like, and so, I'm like, yeah. And I felt pigeonholed with horrible that people were only seeing one side yeah. of me. So I started this pot that other podcast. It ended because it was no longer serving me. Yeah. And then I'm bringing out another podcast, uh, which started also during the pandemic periods. Yeah. That's one that I do by myself and I yeah. interview women and we talk about the journey of womanhood. Yeah. Reproductive health, sure. feminine, feminine health, sexual That's wellness. Good. And it's, it actually has purpose to me. So now I'm moving into a space where I don't need to be in groups. I'm going through a divorce now. I don't want another partnership ever. I'm going to pay everybody. Independent contractors. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody getting equity. Um, 
but I'm now in a space where I want to do something with purpose. And yeah. so to me, see, the thing is, three years later, I didn't feel like it was changing mm. anything or anyone. Though yeah. people put us into their rotation twice a week, it didn't make me feel the way mm. horrible decisions makes me feel when I meet fans and they're like, I got the gastric sleeve because of you. Mm. I now have a better relationship with my partner because of you. Yeah. My sexuality is completely different because of you. Like, yeah. And then period says, I feel like my best friend is here because of that brand. Yeah. So I'm bringing that one back. And so now I only want to do things that to me actually have purpose or can change because I don't want kids that can be my legacy. How'd you get there? Like how you like how did you get to the place where you say I only want to do things that serve me? Like what? what how did you end up there? Therapy first off, but um, and and I've shared this on horrible as well. I've done a lot of things for money. Mm. Money is green. I didn't said yes and been with niggas I ain't want to be with because mm -hmm. niggas had a hey. And I am now in a place where I so UTA was looking for other deals for us. And they called and they're like, okay, deals, you know, podcast landscape is a little different, but here's the numbers. And literally, I said out my mouth, I said, I wouldn't do this much output for another million dollar deal. Mm. That came out of my mouth. I said, good, I wouldn't do it? this for a million dollars. I felt good, didn't it? So then I'm literally sitting here like, okay, like a hoe, so what's my price? What would I do to be miserable in a place that isn't yeah. serving me, that I'm not connected to anymore? But what price would be right for me to be miserable? Yeah. And 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 I was it, it was debilitating. Yeah. I was for you, I know y'all drop what once a week? Twice three times. Three. I was doing five times a week mm. between two different shows and touring. I did twenty four cities last year. Yeah. I'm writing a book. Yeah. I host with Revolt. I work with MTV. I'm pitching TV shows. I run a studio. Yeah. That gets booked out. Like, so I just overexalted myself and this was something that I'm like. I don't feel that connected to it yeah. anymore. And once I had to sit with myself and realize there wasn't a dollar amount that would make me do it. There ain't even a dollar amount on my coochie right now. I love it. Mm. Um, <laughs> and ain't. By the way, let's clap for You know, thank you. We have to celebrate like, that. Listen, nah, seriously. But, but as, a, as a woman who, who's been there for survival, yeah. I'm literally in therapy now. Like, the shit, the decisions I made, oh, like, yeah. oh, I was a cheapo. My rent wasn't shit. Yeah. Like, now that I have a different idea, to be able to say that there's not an amount of money that would make me do something that I don't want to do, that's what made me get to a place where I was like, I got to leave this. Yeah. Because now let me create by the, space for something By else. the way, I, I, I asked you why, because I, I was led there. And okay. that's very interesting when you talk to somebody, because I got into an argument with somebody that co-hosted my show, because he was like, your contradiction, you would take a job. And I'm like... My nigga, as much as you think, like once you get on that other side where you are now, like I feel like I just got there maybe the last six months, right? Where you're like, like I'm talking to a free woman, mm -hmm. right? You're free. You're like, I'm not doing that for no money. I'm going to do what makes me happy. What makes me happy? How I got there, because I'm a man. It's very hard for a mm -hmm. man to leave money on the table. What my therapist did that I just want people to hear is they made me, she made me write down my values, like what matters to you? Let's eliminate money because a lot of the times it's hard to eliminate money when you need it. But it's like for the conversation, let's eliminate money. I ask you what what values line up with you. So I started writing it down. Then I got to like then I wrote down twenty. Then she was like, now take the top ten. And then she got me down to the top five. And she was like, these five are what you're gonna live your life on, right? And then it was like I knew that I wanted to change lives with whatever I did. Mm -hmm. And she was like, well, Ray, when you worked at a record label, were you changing lives? And I'm like, not really. I was chasing lives that changed on their own, and I was cutting them checks for the work that they did. But I, but I wasn't the only nigga with a checkbook. Everybody right. was trying to cut them checks. Right. So when I started realizing, damn, that matters to me over anything, that's when this became important because – I can work at a label and make $400,000, $500,000 a year basically being selfish, making money, helping people, but I wasn't fulfilled. And right. when I knew that what was going to fulfill me was going big and helping, like I want to I want to change, I want to, like you said, I want to go on tour and when I'm in states, I want to buy cars for people and houses for people. You I get wanna, a car, you get a car. Yeah, I want to do that. I want to be the motherfucking light. I want to be the source. I don't want nobody... Yeah. 
I want to be the source. So when I got there, everything started, everything became different because I can work at a label, but I'm never going to be a source. Right. So I go now going into that job. I know I'm going into this doing something that I know is not going to fulfill me. Then you ask yourself, is it worth it? That's why I like what you said. Like, yeah, I mean, to me, yeah, that's it. like it's almost like probably the question niggas get asked when they join the Illuminati. How you sell what 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 you selling your soul for? Yeah. And like to me, I've been in, you know, I've been doing horrible for a long time and it's it's public. Me and her have had our ups and downs yeah. as business partners. And there was a lot of times it didn't feel good. Hated it. I cried. I was miserable. We weren't in a, a safe space. Or we weren't we didn't have a good working relationship. We are so much better now. And I love that we've gotten to that place. But literally, I stayed in it for so long because I needed the money. Yeah. And I, I stayed doing things I didn't want to do because of the money. And so once I could say, damn, I'm sitting here turning down a million dollars because I'm that miserable. Wait, so what would I do this for? And I couldn't think of anything that made sense for my happiness yeah. or my fucking mental health. Yeah, exactly. And I was just like, yeah, no, it's time to go. By the way, that is the dopest thing. Out of everything you said, that was dope. To me, that was the dopest. Because Not my dangerous opinions being dope. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no I want, the reason why I want to zoom in on that is because it's so important. We don't factor in how important being happy is. Ha happiness. Like we don't like. And by the way, I'm the happiest I've ever been. And 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 even if a job, I know what they're gonna expect yep. from me. I know yep. that week three, I'm gonna be like, but. But what about everything I did last week? Let, but let's be very clear. This is a, this is one of the this is one of lives privileges. Yes, because we also are grown with the idea that we have to stay at a company that we don't like. This nigga tired, y'all. He done yawn about four times. We gonna get you out of here. I don't do that on I don't do that on camera. Oh, I love it. He oh, live no, no, switching your yawn. I do that all the time. Don't, I love it. I love not, it. No, it's, it's fine. You. It's a. Oh. Uh, all I, the time. I love this. Cause you know what else that happens? But also, you got I, you got vodka that you ain't poured for nobody. It's just sitting there as a prop, <laughs> nigga. We'd have been talking you, for you about you've been an hour and a half. Pour my coffee nah, gone. I'm nah. ready to shit after this pour if it. I have to. Where is the shot? Pour it. You know, ask why it's not <laughs> being poured. Ask why it's not being poured. Oh, see, that's a fucking. That's why that's there. Wait, why because, is it not being poured? Because I don't really drink. Well, you, no. I am a guest. Bitch, where is mine? No, hit me out. No, 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 no. No, but here's why I, I'm trying to tell you why it gets poured. <laughs> okay. I have a liquor sponsor. Okay. It's right right here. I, I don't think it. none of it. Somebody wants to get some liquor one day. I'm like, of course. And I go to pour. They're like, no, oh, 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 oh. I'm like, what the fuck is this? It's water. <laughs> they drunk all the bottles. They drunk uh, everything and put water in it. This ain't even real, you motherfucker. I have real in my shit, but I, I have real in my shit, but I only did First that because off, they was hey, drinking it all. By the way, he got a whole team. Somebody back, he got liquor somewhere. Yeah, go get me some. It's my since you want to let me know. This I, I got you. I've been looking like, so he ain't going to offer me none. See, I don't drink. See, that's what that's a Jack problem. Jack should know better than that. I don't drink. I'm not a drinker. <laughs> like in my mind, I don't drink. Like I don't even like to be honest with you. I don't even think about it until I'm out and somebody's like shot. Okay, but I'm not like a like I like edibles. So and I'm a shroom girl. Edibles be. Mm -mm. I don't like shrooms. Shrooms oh, have me. Shrooms, shrooms have me fucked up. Shroom microdose some things. I, I haven't baby, got. My, I haven't got. It. What do you like about shrooms? Baby, edibles, the best, baby, the sex. You be you got to take it when you happy because then you be happier. Yes, mm. you know what I mean. It elevates your feelings, baby. I'll take it. That's that's my bottle now. Thank you. No, I'm just playing. Get a cup. Yeah, give me it's a little cute little cup. What is that? Oh, that's the okay. That's, that's what, the real one. Sponsor. Yeah, but I just. <laughs> so I, I I don't know if it's liquor in here, but I'm like he had the hottest. Look, you, you know. see that's crazy. But listen, they know I don't drink, so when I walk yeah. out the room, everybody's like, "Crack it up, Ray in here, drink, and then put water back in." I'm weak. Yeah, that's crazy. yeah so no, nah, but I like I <laughs> yeah I, I I mean I like that we were able to have like this conversation no, that I, you I, pull I, up I, on me I, I or love, I pulled up I, on you. I love no, but I love to me I what I what matters to me is there are so many unhappy people out here that are chasing the dream that someone sold them. And I just want people to wake up and realize you can write your own dream. Because mm -hmm. that's what I did, that's what you did, and now look. It ended, but I'm, again, privileged. I can't say that there are many people that get paid to be themselves. True. Baby, I literally, and I'm, a, I'm an open book, but I literally get paid, I, like, again, back to the, the, the school teachers, who was like, bitch, you doing too much talking in class. Mm. I'm literally to be this goofy, boisterous, bitch that's going to make you uncomfortable at the table. We could be, 
eat Mexican. And I'm like, no one's having anal sex tonight. Exactly. Like, I'm going to make you uncomfortable. <laughs> exactly. And I literally get to, <laughs> exactly. I literally get to do that, that and yeah. have a great, like, time right. just being myself. And, again, people may not like me. Who gives a fuck? People may love. You got, you got a little chaser in that? It's okay. I got water. I'm half white. I'll do vodka and water. I have soda in my... In my Club soda? No, just soda. Oh, no. No, I do the water. I don't like sugars. No, no, there's no sugar in it. it you said soda. I'm, I'm diabetic. What's I drink soda? No, no sugar soda. It's really good, though. But is it a dark soda or a clear soda? Sprite or, 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 or Coke, if you want. Oh, yeah. I'll do a little Sprite. Yeah, Sprite, yeah. Do a little Sprite. This yeah. is not an ad. Let me uh, let Jack Dan's be the one to pull the arms dun, dun, for you. Dun. Pull your struggles for you. Hold on, let's shout out the let's shout out the, the liquor brand. Now shout this is to, an shout ad. Out to, shout out to Polo de Don and his liquor. I know that's Yoko right. Vodka. Yoko Vodka. Shout Let out to you. When. Okay, that's enough. God damn. Damn, um, I got a heavy hand. Sorry. I gotta do the radio in the morning. We're, we're ready. Oh no, we're talking about uh, that. Morning that's hustle. Okay, got you, got you. But nah, but I to me, I think that shout out to L'Oreal. To me, the thing I love the most is is that you are free, and I see that. And to me, not. Nah, I, I swear to God, I wish people understood. As much as I'm having a conversation with you, this is just my method that I learned how to win with. Mm, like, which you gotta, is? meaning like, so I manage a songwriter, right? Yep. I, I have a, I have a lot of people signed to me, but I, I basically start with a nigga with two brothers from the Virgin Islands doing something that I don't know nothing about. How do I learn about it? I ask questions. Yeah. So people be thinking, and I might argue against it, but I'm only arguing because I'm trying to figure out my route in it. I mean, that's, that's what I think as a creative we all have to do. Like, specifically in podcasting, there's no blueprint to that's, this. That's exactly. I'm figuring this shit out as I go. We, and, and we had the luxury of, I think, being in New York. So, like, our mentor is, like, by episode three, shout out to A-King, part of the Combat Jack show. Mm -hmm. By episode three, he pulled up to, to preach his studio. Preach, who was the owner, was like, these girls are great. We're episode three. A-King comes. By episode six... They're introducing our show to Charlemagne, who is also on the loudspeaker. We listen to Brilliant Idiots. We listen to The Read. And literally, we're now in the scope. And we just like, we just happy to be here in this room. Our right. idea wasn't to make money. I was in my, going on my last year of, of college, I was going to be a CPA. Mm. I literally told Wheezy, we could do this podcast. It's cute. Yep, I'm still getting flued out. We can have fun, share our little stories. But if this, you know... If it doesn't make money and, and conflicts with me making money in my business that I'm busting my ass for school for, mm -hmm. this isn't going to be for me. Yeah. And so I thought I was going to be CPA, got into public accounting. My first year um, into public accounting, I worked for, for Ernst & Young. I made my salary in five months with horrible decisions. Mm. I was working 70-hour weeks. Mm. And I said, I'm giving this corporation, this I don't want to say the white man, but sure. yeah. I'm giving them 70 hours a week of my time for $64,000. I made that in five months mm. with live shows. Yeah. I know they thought I was burning because yeah. I used to tell them I had doctor's appointments to go to the studio. Yeah. Like, nah, nigga, I can't stay late. Exactly. I know it's, exactly. it's it's deadline, but mm -mm. Exactly. I'm literally selling out Caroline's. Andrew yeah. Schultz opened up for us at Caroline's. Yeah. That nigga just is selling out now the garden. Yeah. The people that were supporting us and rooting for us early on also, I believe, allowed me to, to be here. So outside of you believing in yourself, I don't think you get very far without relationships. I agree. And I, I'm, I'm grateful that I've been able to maintain relationships and be an asset to the people that I know. And to where it's, even if I have nothing to give you, I, again, even Tarant, you need somebody to do ad libs? Let me hit some of my homegirls yeah. up. I never wrote a song in my life. Whatever any of my friends need, if I know somebody, I just constantly con sure. connect people. Sure. And so just being a resource to someone and not always having your hand out needing someone yeah. is, I think, what helps you in this space as well. But, but I mean, the most important thing is that you're confident in who you are. Uh, you, you, you're confident in your ability and you're not afraid to bet on yourself. And to me, as I'm sitting and watching, I'm like, to me, I feel like, I will watch, and I'm being honest, I will watch people like you in my world and be pat, mad at myself because I'm like, I can do that, but I'm stuck over here fucking running around for dickheads that don't really, <laughs> not no, I'm, not, no, I'm just being honest, like, you know, like, 
And this, and I'll be running after dickheads too. Well, no, oh, you were after. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just playing. What? Okay. By the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, I'm very comfortable talking about sex. I'm very comfortable. I, like, I don't have, I'm oh, no, very confident. That was just a joke. I'm just saying, but I'm very let's, confident in myself. So, keep I, don't, this I don't do pause and all the other shit niggas do. I'm like, nigga. I love it, no, because you were so, that's an up north. Yeah, thing. yeah. No, but my point is, is that, you know, you have, you had the balls and you did. To me, I would see you and be like, damn. And my, my, my executive coach would ask me, like, do you really believe in yourself? Because if you really believe in yourself, then why wouldn't you go for it? Could you tell other people to go for it? I'm like, mm. I'm a dumbass. Hey, I'm telling you, you could fly, but I'm holding my wings on the side. Like, nah, I'll fly when I'm ready. God will tell me when it's time for me to fly. And it's like, nah, Again, no, no that's, time. that's you being a human. Yeah. The same way we could sit here and tell our homegirls to leave their toxic relationships while we in one ourselves. Yeah. Oh, no, that's like, not me. No, but there's a lot of people that can give advice that don't take their own. I agree. And that's my, and to me, that's what I love about you. As crazy as you are, I would be mad at you if you was crazy behind camera. Cause I'm like, nigga, if you're going to be crazy, then be crazy. No, I'm for, crazy all along. Be, be crazy. Like that's my, my, that's my point. Girl, let's be very clear. My homegirls, when they get down, I tell them the truth. First off, I will tell them, okay, we're not talking about this nigga no more. But also if they get down and out, all right, bitch, here you go. I'm going to help you with, I'm going to help you a little bit. But you better go sell some pussy. I don't know what to tell you. You did it before. Go do it again. I'm very blunt with my yeah, friends. Yeah. Like, we not finna do this. Yeah. You either finna work or you finna go. But figure it out, bitch. I'm not finna sit here and be the crutch. Yeah. And, I'm not, I'm and not, we not fucking. And, so I'm really not finna be the crutch. And I also don't feel bad for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you got to get up your ass and do your, You got to get up your ass and, and, and do what and I, I got to do. And I bust my ass. I work Me too. hard. Me too. People, like, I'm, I'm at home maybe three times a week. Mm. I'm on the road. I'm working. I'm here for work. Like yeah. I even travel just for work. Yeah. So it's like, nah. If I can do this, so can you. Well, listen. Before we have this thing we do called credit check, and Come I on. definitely want to do it for you. I hate when people say, "Wait, I gotta pull up credit card." No, 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 no. Oh, just, just, just. I was like, I'm paying off a car right now. Calm down. No, 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 no. baby. I'm no, trying no. to buy a house. I'm working on it. No, 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 no. Well, and, um, and, okay. And, <laughs> I, you'll appreciate this because in our world. People always say, give me his flowers. I'm like, man, fuck my flowers. Give me my credit. I could leverage that. Ooh. I could take that and do something with it. I can't do that with fucking flowers. So I give people like yourself to give a shout out to two or three unsung heroes in Mandy's journey that you wouldn't be Ooh. like, who would, who would those people be for you? Um, especially with horrible decisions, it, it would be be uncouth for me not to like shout out Charlemagne. Okay. Charlemagne has 100% vouched for us. We're on the Black Effect Network. Our book deal is under his publishing, mm -hmm. uh, Black Privilege Publishing with Simon & Schuster. Um, he comes to our live shows. He is put, he is, he is rooted for me. Mm -hmm. And I can only, only appreciate that. Um, so Charlemagne for sure. Um, this is a this is a subset group. Yep. Uh, but my my friends, mm. my friend circle. I love that. They are they come first, period, in my life. Mm. Before my family, before mm. my partners, but like my group of friends, which is why maybe I also want to do what I want, like the women in my life, like I love them. Yeah. Love them. I believe if I, I believe friends can be so much. I don't think I get through like going out of the comment, like the comment section, everything I do now, my escape is with them. Yeah. So, shout out Crystal, Deandra, uh, I could go down B, Stacy, Jasmine, um, Antoinette, um, Asante, you not a girl, but you a girl. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, and I mean, Ali, Kita, I'm even hiring my friends now. Yeah, uh, that's fire. I don't know if I said Stacy. I think I said, so my friends. And then the, the last one, Honestly, and this is going to sound real like award ceremony, uh, my mom. Mm. So my mom has shown up to my live shows. Mm. She has come on my podcast. Um, she just got the gastric sleeve because of me. Mm. She has championed me as a woman to being able to speak for what I want. Um, and has been like, I wish I was able to do this at a younger age. Mm -hmm. So being my, my mom supporting me and being there um, in this journey again, of womanhood where I'm this boisterous, mm -hmm. having a supportive mom yeah. like has meant a lot to both me and Weezy. Both of our moms have been there. And I talking to so many women, they don't have that. Mm. Like my mom has 
champion my bisexuality. Mm -hmm. These niggas, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> good or bad. Yeah. Um, me exploring and feeling happy with myself. Therapy, quitting my job. Yeah. And just being being there for me. By the so, way, so my friends and my mom and then Charlemagne. By the way, that's it's dope. nothing. That's the best to me one we've ever done, because it's really that's what it's about it's about the, pe the people that helped you get there yeah. the people that sustained yeah. while you're there and the people that gave you the balls when you didn't know you could be there well and also all of my friends fucking hate podcasting yeah. so mm. they don't come on I, we we take trips and shit yeah. together I love that I'm also in a place now where we fight to pay the bill like bitches will seek to go pay like all of my friends have hustled and again a lot of us came from fucking with these niggas that wasn't shit but mm. that's how and we've all made our way to where now I love we can be like bitch this is our own yacht bitch we on this flight not because of a nigga but because we fucking bust our asses they're great moms they're great friends they're like like and I don't think we hear that from women a we lot don't. women be like these hating ass bitches nah, that's women women really don't get along I fucking love my homegirls mm. and there ain't nothing like real friendship between women like, and so I think I'm blessed to have that. I can't, yeah, bitches have done me wrong in the, in the past, of sure, course. Sure, you can't worry you about know, that. You know, but my core, where if a man comes in my life, bitch, you after my friends and you better be okay with that. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the last, you want to ask the last question? Yeah. Last question. Oh, not you talking. Cause you've been over there sitting. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I had a whole bunch I of shit. You did, you did. I had a whole bunch but of we, shit to we, talk we about. We went all just, over. It's no. okay. It's okay. It's, this was a great when, combo. When podcasts but, link up, it's, it's no format. I, know, I knew that, by I know, the way. That was it's crazy. just never because we do this every yeah. day. It's like we kind of, it's like therapy for us. Like, yeah. nigga, it, honestly. It was. It yeah. was. She's one of the best, too. Yeah. So it's like, you know. But anyway, so this is the God Show. And God is an acronym that stands for Goats and yes. Underdogs. Ooh. So my question to you is Are you a goat? Or underdog. You ain't heard how the fuck I talk, bitch. I'm a motherfucking goat. Let's give it up for the goat. <laughs> By the way, can I be honest with you? I was hoping that you would say that. You, I mean, just, I, listen. If you ain't you listen. If you ain't heard about me, you done heard your favorite people talk about me over the last couple of weeks. Because at the end of the day, whether it's good or bad, my name people is Mandy. Mandy B, or yep. nigga, you heard my name. Whether you listen to The Breakfast Club and a bitch has something to say, whether you listen to motherfucking Joe Budden podcast, whether you listen to your little favorite podcast is trying to understand why I fucking decided to end a motherfucking podcast that wasn't serving me. Or you heard, don't call me white girl, just bring me up. Or you heard, I, and love Mona, by the way. At the end of the day, I feel like I have busted my ass to get to where I'm at, but all your favorite people talking about me, all your favorite people know me, Fuck with me or at least want to work with me. So I'm a motherfucking goat and you can hate me for being this confident. You can hate me for being this arrogant, but I bust my ass to motherfucking nigga, be here. Nigga, we would never and allow no, it. No, I'm talking to these motherfuckers. Mm. I, done, I done bust my ass to be here and I deserve to be in every room I'm in and every yep. dollar I make. And by the way, I seen her come up. I've seen her come in room. She was never to ask for shit, bitch. You, no. could, you know them bitches that walk in the room and you I'm can tell. Bitch. She was always, she was always, she always got busy and to me, I'm genuinely proud of you because Thank you, Ray. to me, if everyone felt the happiness you felt, this world would be way better. And the world is only fucked up because people don't know. It's only fucked up because people are unhappy and projecting their unhappiness mm -hmm. on people. And for me, I encourage everybody. That's why I said I would never have a problem with no, like I don't have a problem with nothing anyone says. Oh, by the way, I have no beef. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Baby, but, I'm a pescatarian. I'm not, but yeah, I just don't have beef. Friend. But, you know, <laughs> but for me, it was just like, you know, I seen you. And to me, I'm proud of you because it's hard. And then shit, you further in the world than I am. So I'm coming behind. So even as you were don't talking. Say that. I am, but I'm, I'm following you. <laughs> no, I'm following you, I'm saying. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, I'm like, meaning you're ahead of me in that right, race. I'm following you. Yeah, yeah, you rich as hell. Nah, you nah, rich nah. as hell. Yeah, but, but, but what people don't understand that you get is that imagine how hard it is to shoot three shows a week. And I'm still running the company. Mm -hmm. So when people hit me, when people run up on me in the streets, I'm like, y'all want to get on your show. And I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to give you Jack. And they're like, oh, I can't talk to you. I'm like, nigga, I can't be the boss in every world I'm in. I'm, I won't have time for myself. So watching you, I just think you the shit. And I'm, Thank you. I'm, and to me, this is a measuring stick for me. Because I didn't want to, I don't like asking people. Because I feel like. It should, podcasting is, by the way, is a lot like being in, in the music industry. Like, 
Nigga, if you're a new rapper, you can't expect to get a feature from Future unless you sign the Future. <laughs> or Hello. Unless, or unless you're just on fire. Or you got a lot of money. Or you got a lot of money, right? So for me, it's the same thing. So when Joe Budden did my shit, when Wallow came in here, when yo, even if I know you outside of that, the fact you the fact you could have came in here and we could have talked in the studio like we did when I first met you. I know. You know what I'm saying? But you're still, no, but you're still on, here. Let's get on the camera. Let's and get on for, the and, microphone. And for, me, and for me, that was a, to me, that was dope because... I am entering a new world, and I do know the kings and queens of the world I'm entering, and I do pay respect to them. But when one of them spot me from the crowd, be like, "Nick, I see," you. I'm like, "All right, cool." No, I'm you're doing right. you're doing you're doing great with this show. Thank you. You're you ain't shit, but your clips go viral a lot. You have a great team here. Um, thank y'all all for showing up on a Sunday. But everyone's been great. You could tell they want you to be your best, even though. It's pressure. Yeah. But I love it's when you can have a team that just wants you to be your best, wants you to excel, wants you to win. Because as you win, they win. Yep. Like being in this room, it's been great energy. You. you have a great team. Um, and I think that that matters. Like Absolutely. I love that they're pushing you to be For a sure. better person because I, you, you are. You're, you're doing great with this and, podcast and, and, thing. And by the way, you got I'm, some cute little guests. And by the way, I'll I'm be like, learning. Dang. I'll be. <laughs> but I'm of course, everybody know Ray. I'm, but, I, but, I'm, but for me, I'm learning. And I'm learning and I'm watching you. And to me, it's like a beautiful thing. And that's all I want people to see. They, you can't win with ego. You have to learn. You have to watch the winners. Learn what they're doing. And, and, and pick up the them, them nuggets they drop. And you gave a whole lot. Thank you. A whole lot. And you I are mean, a star. I mean, my dangerous opinions. And you are a star. And shout out to our sponsors. Shout out to Two Loss Distribution, Tote and Carry, uh, Yoko Vodka. And shout out to anybody watching this that took time. Share, like, subscribe, all that shit. See, I don't know how to do all that. They I want to say, say shout out to your team because you are only as strong as your team. Thank you. Um, and I used to think I could do everything. Them niggas clapping for so, themselves. They shout out to for the team themselves, here. AG. <laughs> um, I guess I'll go ahead. If you don't know yet, I'm your girl Mandy V, aka Full Court Pumps, aka That Bitch. Um, I'm one half of the Horrible Decisions podcast. Uh, Period Sis is launching on April the third. I'm also starting my Kickstarter campaign for Period Sis, the animated series. I am um, creating and getting into animation, which is very expensive, which is why I need your help to create it. Um, I am also the owner of Full Court Studio. So if you're looking to film a podcast and you're in the New York City area, check us out. We're in Bushwick, uh, Brooklyn, New York. If you don't know, uh, that's Full Court Studios. And Let's yeah, go. check me out. I will be hopefully on I'm the com- TV I'm, near and I'm, you. And I'm, but, I'm, yeah. I'm coming to see Full Court Studio. I, I love it. That's fire. Oh, yeah. It is great. I we have that. all that's the different beautiful. sets. Uh, you can rent it out. You know, we'll that's come beautiful. on and we can, we can yeah. chat it up. Um, and then coming soon, I have my own network uh, as well, Moodboard Network. So I thank you. She just came thank and you. dropped her and motherfucking titty you know, on the table. <laughs> Listen, I I, I, I'm, Peter, I'm doing sorry, a lot, sorry. but I, like I said, I'm I'm now supporting the creatives that I feel like need bigger platforms and deserve like video and clips. Yeah. And I'm like, listen, if I can now help my friends get into the position of me to quit their jobs, that's what I want to do. So, well, I, you are a superhero. Thank you. We acknowledge you, and we don't like people sit on this couch unless we think they're a goat. Because you got to be worth the conversation. Did anybody say they was an underdog? Everybody does, and I get mad. I'm like, walk in your power. Having these insecure ass peasants on this couch, (laughs) we are goats around here. And by the way, on that note, it's the God Show. We are out. I love that.